Hello, 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 everyone. Hello. If, if everyone is hey. ready to reveal, we can reveal now. Oh, Bro. my goodness. Why do you sound like you're in a tin cup? <laughs> what the fuck is are we, that shit? Are we revealing at the same time? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You guys went all fucking out. What the fuck is tomato? <laughs> what? What is tomato? I can't even I see him. What? I think I think that's his costume potentially. It definitely is. What? What are you? <laughs> oh actually, well, hold on. We should go around, we should I, guess. We should go around and guess what everyone Joe, is. Joe, you're gonna like gas yourself in there. What's no, going on? No, 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 it's okay. I probably won't wear this for the episode because you just hear me very tinny. Um, but uh, let's go Let's go around. Uh, let's start with Dodger. What, is, what, what are you, Dodger? I'm a, I'm a beholder. <laughs> That's good. I, I knew it. That's good. That's spot on. Good clock, you like Thank that you. one? That's cute. I can't really see. That's so good. Okay. I, I did love the, the eyes on your shirt. Yeah, I did the eyeball outlines and then Clark Clark uh, lined them and colored them. So good. Yes. Sam. <laughs> yeah. What are you? I'm a I'm a mimic. <laughs> hey, me too. Oh my god. <laughs> Shane, yeah. Shane's one is so Shane, good. So Wait, his is actually a costume though. It's bullshit. <laughs> his is so good, dude. It's so that's good. It's so fucking good. What I'm spending a second on this. My girlfriend I'm sucking a, I'm Your girlfriend in a giant is, is, is great. The, uh, uh, it's, it's so good. I, I'm gonna try. Let's try and guess tomorrow's. I can't fucking are see you... Tomorrow, are you. Tomorrow, are you just a sunrise? What the fuck? Are you just, are you just a blown out camera? Is that what enemy you are? Wait, uh -huh. are you the Sunforge? He's the Sunforge, dude. <laughs> oh my god. No, uh, mm. I'm giving Joe a chance because he's trying to actually think of it. I'm trying to think of something extremely... Is it something extremely bright? Yeah. Okay. Something that's bright. I don't know, dude. It's, what? It's a monster, though. It has to it's, be a monster, it's, right? It's a, it's a will o wisp <laughs> oh. Oh. That's there clever. That's clever. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> Bree, uh, are you? I'm guessing rather an you're owl bear. Yeah, rather an owl bear like or yeti. Are you a yeti? Yeah, yeti. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> but I like nice. owl bear too. That's good. That is good. <laughs> Why uh, is Shane's actually good, dude? Shane's is amazing. So good. Shane's it's is like so actually good. amazing. <laughs> I when you so said you were going as a box, I was like. Oh, he might be similar to me, but you actually went full out. That's <laughs> super good. I didn't do anything. Thank my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, girlfriend. Not wearing this Hell yeah, session. girlfriend. It's... Yeah, no, I'm, I'll be taking off the box in a minute, too. What the Guys, fuck I are fucked you, up Joe? big time. I've had Does to fuck with a lot of settings <laughs> to make it this bright. <laughs> you can't oh, no, make it back. Like, dude, just reset day. the default. You got to hit default. Nah, you reset the default. default there's bad. like 60 more things I got to move oh, back. God. All right, I fucked it up bad, guys. I did it so bad to get it like this. Oh my god. Um, Joe, did you, did you confirm what you are? No, so no, you can are guess Are you a gelatinous like. cube? <laughs> What's OLG? Well, technically, <laughs> technically uh, OLG's come as a shadow. Uh, it's really okay. intricate. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm a, a decomposing giant's head inside of a gelatinous cube. Oh, because oh, the small go. person. Oh, the small that? skeleton. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> yeah, the other small oh. items in it right. Um, that's good. All right. I'm going to take this off now, though. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, welcome out to our low effort monster uh, uh, on, stream. Got a... <laughs> he's going to stand up and have fucking minotaur no, legs you know, on. I've got to just, I've kind of just got to, think, I just got to fall backwards. Dude, it's like too so big I... to. Oh, my God. Okay, Originally, go this was going to be Sam's costume mm -hmm. because I was like, and then I'm going to be. A laundry hamper mimic, and oh it turned God. out I don't fit in the laundry. <laughs> no. And so Sam oh, was no. like, "You, you and Clarky made the the eyeballs and stuff. You, you be the beholder." Mm -hmm. And he was like, "I'll be the mimic. I've got a huge box." 
That's and then great. Shane comes along with the ultimate minute costume. It's so good. Yeah, I'm going to keep shit. this thing. I love it. It's, it's so really good. well made. It's really well made. You should take that to a convention oh. and, and like wear it. That'd be really That'd good. That'd be fun. Yeah. I, um, I have to paint the back. The back isn't painted. Well, we got a little bit of feedback. I didn't expect to turn it around. It's because I, I was wearing my headphones when I fell back and ripped them out. <laughs> mm. <laughs> cool. cool. Uh, well... Uh, what a response. That's okay. Cool. cool. <laughs> Good job. Keep talking. The bit, I'm wearing this like tattoo stuff that you like put onto your face and just wet yeah. it down. It is awful. It feels like having glue no. on your face at 24 7. It's terrible. <laughs> um, so if I sound a bit weird, it's because my lips feel like they're stuck together. Uh, they are. Fair enough. Yeah, they are. I mean, you can see it also doesn't yeah. fit my face. My face is too big for this. Yeah. <laughs> a little more like a butterfly on my lips. Um, so, uh, welcome out to, uh, episode 48, everyone, uh, our belated Halloween episode, uh, or at least in just camera style, uh, as you guys have got plenty you gotta do in-game. Have we got anything we wanna shout out before we get started? No. Okay, well then, oh. let's dive into some Dungeons and Dragons. Shh. Who would like to do the recap for us? No. Oh. I feel like I did one recently, but I'll do it if everybody else. I did else it last week, guys. So. Uh, Dude, how brave! How brave of you, kind. You're being, yeah. you're taking one for the team, and we all see. <laughs> Thank you. <guys>. Thank you. <laughs> all right, who wants? To, oh, what's going okay, on? Right. Who wants to do it? You want to do it? Okay. <clears throat> uh, are you sure? You no, no. You know what, Dodger? You designate someone to do it because you just said you did it recently. Don't put that on her. You got to choose. How dare you? Well, fucking I put just. That I, it on was her. more. It was more yeah. of a gift. It was a gift. I gave her the I gift put of that choice. On my indecisive wife. You're stressing her. Oh, sorry, out. sorry. I can help you. you literally, <laughs> what the fuck? I already picked somebody. Shane, do it. Uh, huh? Uh, I gotta <laughs> open things up. Hold on. <laughs> what do you I'm mean? It's in Discord. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Cool. He closes, he closes everything. Open. He closes everything when he plays DD. He closes his eyes. I get in the he, moment. He can't be distracted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> it is no rumor that last we left off, we had just arrived at the town of Warm Steps. 13 discs floating above one another, each with a village district on them. While exploring the town, we learned that guild leaders here would be tempted to endorse us. We saw what each disc had to offer before arriving on the second highest one to meet with Myrala. Yep. She said a merchant war was brewing. Pettiness and anger were becoming more common traits in her peers. She wished to do business with us and asked us to do two things. Find out which council member was behind the fighting by earning each of their favor, and then find Farmon Tax, a cartographer who claimed to have a great discovery that could change the bay forever. In Farmon's guild, we first were given a map to find Cherry Stone, a substance capable of creating a powerful revival tool for Carlisle. We also managed to uncover some of his belongings, a locket and notes. The locket had a gnome with two automatons similar to Desmond in it, and the note depicted Farmon's findings on the Vault of Design. You're each inside of uh, the, the tavern itself. Um, you're in, at the moment, you're in the Goat and Tankard. Let me see if I've got any tavern music. Um, and you... Give me some of that Witcher tavern music. Let me see if I do. Mm. I think I do. I think I do. Let me see. Uh... Put on Outer Wilds music. <gasps> I don't... I, I'm, I've not got permission for them. I got permission for the other I'm music. I'm teasing. I'm making a reference to Toxic, Toxic Sunday. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm not up to date with the lore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> dude, I dude, I was listening to the best. I'll give you the law. I'll give you the law. Yeah, I was listening to the best soundtrack of all time quiz, and I was lost to a better song. Huh? What song did it lose to? Because he hasn't played what? Outer Wilds, though, right? You haven't. Yeah. You don't get it, man. You yeah. don't get it. What, don't it lost understand. to like Snake Eater or something. It was definitely better. And then now, because it lost, I hate Outer Wilds. What? I'm an Outer Wilds hater. Not, Can not, I? Dude, listen, I know you got a lot of time to play stuff right now. Maybe you play some Outer Wilds. Yeah. Okay. You should play Outer Wilds. You should. It's going to um, change your life. Although, I'm going to play D&D &D right now. Thanks That's guys. true. That's all right. Good segue. We're back uh, in. Um, uh, students pet. <laughs> yeah, it lost to the fucking, <laughs> nice it lost, fucking it lost the civilization bro. theme. 
Oh, what? <laughs> to the civilization theme? Fuck you! Again. Baba Yetu? So, so, so Hold on, no Baba Yetu. I don't know Civ what that is, but... Oh, I don't know if it beats that one, but Baba Yetu beats it. Um, it. Well, that song beats Baba Yetu, so by proxy, yes. All right, okay, well, minus anyway, one to rerolls today. Let's, um, we don't want to so, get sidetracked. Uh, what is the rainbow thing that's going on behind you, Sam? What? What is the rainbow? That's yeah, you got a rainbow. You got like a rave light in the light. back. Oh, Strobing. There's a light. There's a light down there. That uh, there's so many wires down there. I don't know which light it belongs. Which one it belongs <laughs> oh, to? That's crazy. Don't want to plug it. And there's I hit, random I lights hit in your house and you don't know how to turn yeah. them off anymore. Well, I hit something bad. back there and it just started doing like RGBs and that's like way too hard to figure out which plug it is. So Sam, it's the kind of guy to have RGB. a beeping bomb in the background and just ignore it because it's so too I, much stress. I hit it behind, I hit it behind <laughs> a box, wires. but it's still kind yeah, of beeping. Too many wires. <laughs> I don't want to fuck with that. I just put a box in front, dude. What? Yeah, you could put the box you were See, just See, the thing wearing. is, I didn't notice no, it until it was pointed out. I destroyed the yeah, yeah. oh, box. I know, I'm sorry. I destroyed that box instantly, Bri, upon hitting the ground. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> that's how you should have revealed yourself. Yeah! Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Oh, that's body. true. Could have been mm. an, a mimic enlarging. Um, so you, yeah. you are all inside the goat tank, and you're upstairs in one of the rooms that you purchased. Uh, it's about mid-afternoon. And you've just opened up this locket. And inside the locket you found uh, a gnome with these two kind of companions. Uh, two two uh, automatons that have a very similar design to Desmond. He also found in his notes that he'd been researching a way to get into the Cliffs of Innovation. Where he believes the vault to be. Okay. But other than that, you have also uh, discovered the location of the Cherry Stone. Or at least how to get down to it. Um... And you find yourselves on one of the layers, layer 10, Vigil, uh, with the ability to, to go and make allies where you wish or search around more. The uh, It's all up to you, wherever you want to go next. Um, So, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, did we, like, actually read... Did we did we have letters to to read? Do we have that? It wasn't uh, it wasn't necessarily like like words on a page as like uh, something to read necessarily. It was more kind of like just little notes and stuff. So it was more of an investigation okay. check to determine what they were researching. So it's a lot of like circled around like cliffs drawings with like words like uh, could it be this? Could it be that? You know, it's kind of a, mostly just findings which you could deduce together to be he was looking into where the vault was, um, <clears throat> unknown to what a vault is. Uh, as Were the we able it. to okay. determine based on all of that where on the map? They yeah, think yeah. It, it looked is. he he looked like he the was circling the cliffs of, of innovation, innovation, right? Which is oh, to the northwest. That's right. <laughs> the cliffs yeah. of innovation. Stuff. I remember this now. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, was there anything else that we wanted to do in town? I think there was. I'm trying to remember what it was, though, because we were going back here to look at this stuff, but we also wanted to stop one other place. Well, oh, we were going to check out for Mintax's apartment at the yes. uh, mm -hmm. at the inn. His home is at the inn nearby. Um, yeah, the Gramble. Yeah, 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 yeah. We wanted to look, investigate there as well to see if we had any clues as to who might have disappeared him now that we know where he might have gone. What? Detective yeah. time. Hmm. Okay. Um, so is that where you're going straight towards? The Grain Ball, the other bar? The other inn? Okay. Yeah. Um, oh then you'll be slipping outside, going up into the into the ley line. Uh, using your gloves, you can float up towards layer three, Vitalan. Um, on Vitalan, this is where uh, the village looks like it first began. You can hear the winds now because you're quite high up. Um, ten floors into the sky. Uh, and you can you can see you know the distant bay around you, but uh, the particular grain ball is this very kind of old-fashioned pub-like in um, kind of around the center of the village. Uh, grass all kind of growing around it, barrels and kegs outside. Uh, a couple of people who are kind of sat beside it, drinking their tankards outside on these picnic tables. Um, and the actual uh, uh, design of the the building itself is to be circular, almost like an arena. Um, and you can see outside there's like a, the swinging sign shows, um, an arena that's filled and fr kind of frothing over with ale coming out of it, like a gladiator's arena. Um, heading inside the grain ball, you would, you would, uh, kind of see it's, it's all built in a rounds, um, with kind of rooms upstairs and a balcony kind of looking out, looking them. Um, but, uh, uh, 
the staircases that shoot up onto the rooms. The bar is circular in the center of the room as well. Uh, a large kind of uh, minotaur with kind of graying hair down his, uh, around his head, um, along with his legs as well, kind of gray and black. Um, he's serving. He's kind of broad of structure, serving different drinks to different people. Uh, serving. He's, Sorry. he's <laughs> serving. He's serving. Um, Slay. Uh, you see a bunch of... Uh, 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 patrons kind of sat around the the bar itself and around the kind of rounded bar in the middle and he's just kind of turning talking to each of them serving drinks and uh and there's food tables around as well seems like a kitchen's in the back area it's the only portion of the rounds which actually has a room um blocked off uh but yeah you'd pass into the, the graying ball um uh as you come on in you can see the 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 bartender himself the minotaur is kind of like quite friendly he goes well come on in Welcome, newcomers. I've seen you around uh, up here before. He's the green bull, right? He's the green like, bull. That's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, don't be uh, shy now. Come on over. Yeah, I guess we'll go in, right? He gestures mm -hmm. to uh, some of the seats to his left, which are like not filled. Turns around, continues uh, conversing with a couple others. Uh, kind of nodding his head to another who goes, well, I mean, if you need help with that, you just know where to come. And if you don't know how to do it, just have another drink and maybe we'll come to you. And he fills their, their kind of tankard up to its uh, rim and turns around to you guys again, leans on the bar, looks across all of you and just kind of gives you a big friendly grin. Oh, I'm always happy to have newcomers up here. Are uh, you uh, passing through or? Yeah, just taking in the city. If that's what you would call it, I guess. I mean, we have people that do that quite a bit, but uh, uh, most of them find themselves down in the entertainment district. Uh, it's usually regulars that come up this far, so uh, we don't get as many customers from down there. A lot more to do down south of, the, uh, south of us right now. Or I should say below. So, uh, uh, what can I do for you? You need drinks? Ale? You drink ale? Mm. Yes, ale. He pours out this kind of very dark <clears throat> ale. Uh, stout like kind of fills up to the brim it's got very very slight froth on the top um puts in these very nice old kind of uh, tankards that have almost like a bull's horn as the uh as the kind of the, the handle of it and he puts it around to each of you pours each one of you a drink uh looks towards you desmond and goes oh we have some uh some some stuff for automatons around here we just got some oil you like uh little lathering oil oh yes thank you of course uh, he's looking down <laughs> of course of course uh uh, leans down, he pours out this kind of little bottle. It's almost like a perfume spray of like oil. He kind of puts it into like a nice little flask onto the table. All right, there will be uh, six silver pieces, please. Yeah, tackle pay. <clears throat> well, it's always good to have uh, newcomers open around these parts. Uh, glad you could well, stop. going to give it like a good sniff. Yeah, it's and it's then drink. quite earthy. Uh, you can. It, it's it's quite a deep uh, ale. It's quite filling. Immediately kind of warms your throat. Um, you can see it's kind of almost got like a like a hint of whiskey to the back of it, um, and uh, uh, but not not the best you've ever had, but definitely kind of a little bit like homegrown. Um, and he's goes, well, uh, if there's anything I can do for, if you need rooms or anything, you just uh, you come to me. Uh, we have a Thank couple you. available though, so uh, wouldn't be able to fill, uh, get everyone inside, but most of you could probably fit in together. All right. Goes back Should to we ask him having some conversations? Women tax. Maybe ask when he was last here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would I guess we would have come here with the intention of like, sounds fucked up, but us just being like dutiful patrons mm -hmm. while mm -hmm. the the uh, stealth team. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I wasn't saying anything because <laughs> Carlisle was not intending Valid. on being with the group at the front, right? During this, uh, but I was going to wait to see if um, there was any. If, if you guys decided to get any information beforehand, I was having Carlisle hang back. Yeah, I think um, the next time that he comes back around after mm -hmm. we've like taken a moment to drink a bit, um, Tech would say. Uh, we actually, we were, we were told that, um, someone we were going to have a chat with, Farman Tax was staying here. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's got a room here, he hasn't been here for a couple of weeks though, I imagine he's out on an expedition. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, uh, uh, why don't I see him? 
Uh, two weeks ago, he was talking to an automaton. Uh, hush hush mm -hmm. in the corner, like getting their own privacy. Yeah. Um, I just saw them. They went up to the room and then, uh, and then came out down. Uh, I, I, I've been tending to his room since then. So, uh, uh, yeah. Um, you friends of his? Oh, no, but, um, but we were told to seek him out when we got into town, and it seems like nobody's really seen him for a while, so we were just curious. Oh, well, I'm sure he's fine. I mean, uh, he's got a good is head he on his shoulders. Is he normally gone for pretty big chunks, or? Oh, he's, he goes away for a little while. Uh, I always keep his room there. Uh, they, they pay pretty well down in there, no stone on turning. I'll be honest, I don't charge too much for those who uh, stick around full time. But, uh, yeah, he goes out for long periods of time. I, I don't see many of his friends, though. I was quite happy to see him with a friend for once. Um, but he mostly sticks to himself whenever he comes up here. Goes straight to his room, does work up there. Usually delivers drinks to his room. So uh, having him sat downstairs was a uh, pleasant surprise. I see. The automaton you saw him with. Mm. Do you remember what they looked like? Oh, unusual looking fellas. Got this, like, fluid going through them. Uh, a lot of plating on them. Quite a broad shouldered uh individual uh, uh no mouth per se it just kind of uh, almost vibrated out of it um he's got a s similar accent to me uh it was, it was a nice fellow real kind of like uh kind of reminded me of the uh the automaton that works down in aqua uh what's that place called um yeah there's a couple of nice automatons down there i've heard uh but i've uh, i've only ran into one of them hmm. where was that sorry above yeah, where is he saying he said aqua's <clears throat> um Okay. And know by... what, we know what that is. You had heard yeah. a shop name, uh, just to remind you, called Okra's Guild of Patented Gadgets and Unmatched Artificery. Okay. Mm, okay. Um, does his description match the ones that we saw in the locket? Yeah. Similar design to Deadman. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, with the accent too, I figured as much. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, if anything's happened to him, just let me know. Uh, I mean, I'll keep his room up there. Uh, which um, it safe. which room is he? So we can leave a note for him. Or a persuasion check. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Oh, I can't even help that. God damn. I'll be honest with you. Uh, you seem like kind of folk and all, but... Uh, It'd probably be wrong of me to, to, to go and pawn out his room, you know, his own private space. Mm. Uh. Of course, yes. Okay. I did not mean to. No, it's okay. Understand. You can pass the note to me. I'll, I'll pop it under his, uh, his door when I next go up there to have a clean. And if you want to, don't worry, you can see it. I'm not going to read it. I'm, uh, I'm always interested in the, uh, the travel of stories, but I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not looking to eavesdrop, so. Uh, you also seem very kindly and trustworthy, so. I think we'd be very comfortable leaving a note with you. Well, it's very kind. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, thank you for saying so. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Would they? Is there like any kind of like um, I don't really call them like pigeonholes or like a, a male sawing thing on a wall that would like have names on? Like, does um, he keep everyone's mail just under the counter? He probably would keep it or... under the counter. It's probably like an unofficial okay. thing. Um, oh, so there's no, we, yeah. we, we really wrote a clues. note and then watched to see where if, like, he puts he, it maybe or, it. or yeah yeah um joe what kind of a check would you make us do Th this isn't mm -hmm. my area of expertise necessarily as a character but like if if one of us was like yeah i think it makes sense for me to know a cipher right uh -oh, yeah biology <laughs> Yeah. If I don't you... know. Would you, would you like, like, make us do a check to see if we like successfully write a note in code? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. How to um. Ask that. Yeah. I mean, it depends what kind of code you're looking for. So, so I see, like, there's there's a few of you that do know. I mean, like, like Carlo will technically know thieves can, and I don't imagine that's mm -hmm. necessarily a singular language. I always determine it as like a like a kind of general wording that you'd use on the streets of different around Hyloma in general um uh, that might be hard to determine but if you want to write a code i'd probably say put an intelligence check behind it uh and then someone with an intelligence higher than that can kind of decipher it's almost like you're setting the bar for it right okay oh 
Okay. Um, well, I'll just... I'll just write a note. Okay. If you have um, calligraphers tools, I'd probably give you advantage on that as well. Or let you have that. Do any of us do? Does OLG? OLG, OLG loves does. a note. Yeah. True. And we'll have Andrasa write a letter. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me find... Uh, anyone's got her sheet. A uh, strongly worded, very noble letter. I can yes. Some description. <laughs> And wizard sheets, man. They just, they lag whenever you open them. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll do, yeah, I'll do cal calligraphy supplies on her one. And we'll see how it comes out. I'll give her advantage on this roll. Uh, she's going to need it because that was a nat one. And 18, yeah. So she, the DC will be an 18 to uh, to basically get through to uh, decipher that code. But she'll write up a code on a note. What are you getting her to write? Um, I guess we would want... We would want the note to say, like, well, I don't know. I'm second guessing this now. Would okay. we just pretending to go to Furman? To Furman yeah, Tax? But, yeah, but also in case Furman does return to that room. Yes. Yeah. Um, a, And I think he would be a very intelligent person. Yeah. Would he would it benefit us? For him to have something that's like um we're also seeking the vault seek us out at this inn mm. right kind of yeah thing. um if everybody else thinks that's a good idea <laughs> i don't want to like the only thing i would worry about this. is the fact that his office was ransacked recently yeah. well, not ransacked but i feel like he has people probably searching his regular spots mm smart people one of them too up. yeah i would worry that's the only that's thing maybe we can make it even more cryptic though maybe it's like we share common interests and mm. we're also in the interest of making sure you're okay mm -hmm. maybe something like that rather than actually name dropping the vault just in case just yeah. in case good idea um okay Yeah, maybe have maybe have both letters be true. Yeah, It'd be like, hello, um, we were uh, told to seek you out, and that you might be on expedition. Um, we hope that you're healthy and whole, sort of a thing. Um, but then there's also like a secondary note that's yeah, that's like we have common interests. I don't know. I don't know what else could be in there, but give me the general gist of it, and then you can write it up yourself. Um, so as in, like, the, you can write it as an actual note, uh, mm. uh, but for now, just tell me what, what kind of things would be inside the note, uh, as a kind of just, like, bullet point list. Actual note is, hello, we are the six, we were told to seek you out in town, um, we've Looks like we missed you. Ooh. It looks like we missed you. You're on expedition. Okay. We hope you're healthy and whole. Your shipment is ready for collection. <laughs> we'll be here for another couple of weeks. Or, like, we'll be here for another mm -hmm. week or something. Something like that. Um, okay. And then the secret. The yeah. And then, yeah, secret message. I think I think Bree is right in saying we should be really vague. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have um, interest. Maybe even cryptic to the degree of like, uh, I'm trying to think. Saw a locket no. at the market that oh, reminded yeah. us of you, you know, because we have his locket and mm -hmm. like, you know, something like that. And then like, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I'm, no, maybe no cipher. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we also don't establish that we too broke into your office where you were and found your <laughs> extra fair, secret that's stuff. <laughs> like, that's true. That's, that's true. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm trying to. Th okay, hold on. Something to, to do with the vault then that only people who know about the vault would be able to parse through a, a secret note. Oh, maybe we. Maybe maybe we could say something like something about the the cliffs of innovation oh yeah because everybody we, talks maybe about that just anyway. like we were thinking about heading to the cliffs of innovation and heard they're great for epiphanies or something or like <laughs> yeah, or like 
Prezede, you are being What's hunted. That? We have been hired to protect you. <laughs> Meet us at yeah, this but end. I feel like that's drawing too much attention. Cause, uh... He's going to read it, though. I think isn't the idea that it's a sealed note for him? Well... Right. But what Bree is saying is that we know people are ransacking everything he yeah. has. So it's like, even if it ends so up in his it... room, someone else is probably going to get it. <laughs> Unfortunately, but it might not wind up in his room. It might be True. like this dude might be like, I will hand it to him when I see him. True. Maybe also, if the guy that's hunting him finds a note that says you are being hunted, we are going to protect you. I think that would be a deterrent for them to keep hunting him more so than giving them any info because they already know they're hunting him. We don't know anyone's hunting him. Well, some Explicitly. someone's ransacking his shit. Someone's looking for him and he's missing. Well, someone snooped his shit. We don't, it wasn't like ransacked, but like, we saw he disappeared. I vote caution. I vote vague. I vote crypticism, personally. I mean, yeah, I'm, I definitely think caution's good, though I think also it's fairly realistic that this guy's probably not going to be coming back here either way uh, to me. Probably yeah. not, but this is also a ploy to maybe find out where his room is as well no wasn't it a dual yeah if we stake him out like stake out yeah bartender yeah that and also i was thinking if somebody has ransacked his room you with your special eyes might be able to tell that a door has been broken into true if yeah. you're looking at all the doors i'm also thinking like if the bartender thinks that uh one of his patrons is in danger he might be more inclined to help us but we don't know. We don't know. Bartender might have allegiance to fucked up people in the town. That's why we roll <laughs> insight. Fair. Yeah, dude, I think you guys do what you want and we'll just have to try and find the room, which might be hard given how many rooms there are. I think we, I think giving the bartender a chance to go upstairs and just fucking do it. They don't know I didn't bring Carlisle up with you guys. He doesn't know mm -hmm. we're together. So I can be a little right. quiet and sneaky and just kind of watch. <gasps> Does anyone yeah. have any sort of item they can like track or locate? Like, yes. How does locate object work? I don't, I don't know. I was locate thinking object about would work if we had it. I was thinking okay. like, <laughs> this yeah. is going to sound a little crazy. What? We could mm -hmm. we could give him my pacted weapon as a gift to the guy. <laughs> I know where it is at all times. And then if he takes the sword to the room, then we know exactly where it is. What if he puts it in like a vault instead? <laughs> Worst case, oh, I mean, I can I can yourself. summon it to my hand. Yeah, it, okay, it okay, doesn't okay. matter where it I goes. I mean, yeah, that's not a bad idea because I was thinking like, how do we like sneakily track where the room actually is? Mm. I doubt, he's, I doubt if we hand him like a, a nice sword, he's going to just leave it under the counter. <laughs> no, probably not. He might immediately take it to the room and lock it up, honestly. He might immediately take it to the room and then be like, holy shit, somebody's been in here. If yeah, that would be good too. Guy. If he actually goes in. Yeah, yeah. true. Mm. I think that's probably okay. a good idea. Good thinking. Okay. All right, we, have write, we write an earnest note. <laughs> we write an earnest okay. note that yeah, says, note. "This says we're the six. We're in town. We sounds like we missed you. Oopsie mm -hmm. doopsie. Yeah, we uh, have <laughs> friends who wanted us to give this to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, present mm -hmm. present. We, we would love to catch up. We, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so you hand the note across it, and he <laughs> takes the note and kind of makes sure it's sealed, and goes, "Okay, I can make sure that gets one." Are you giving the and sword the as well? What what was yeah. it? How are you how are you present, presenting the sword? Morgane's gonna wrap it on. Remove the <laughs> remove the sword from because she has two swords. I'm gonna remove one, and then uh, inspect it, close it, hand it over. Say, please ensure this gets to his room. It's quite quite expensive. He takes it and looks at it. Eyes you up. He's gonna roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you make a deception check for me, Morgan? Yeah, I can. Come do on, that. Morgan. You got this. Twenty-four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <nice. gasps> 
Hmm. It's unusual. a knight handing over a sword, you know, it's... it's... Yeah. He goes... It's an unusual gift for Farman. <laughs> He's always been more of a... Uh, uh, the, the paper and the quill kind of guy, but... Uh, uh, hey, oh, I mean... it's not his. It's, um, it's a relative's. Bequeathed to him. Oh, well, I didn't realize he's got uh, warriors in the family. Well, hey, I'll make sure to get to him. Uh, I'm sure we'll be uh, prizing it quite well. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing ends up in uh, some sort of... Uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he sells it on and buys some more calligraphy supplies. This guy, he, uh, everything he goes into his craft. So I'll put it down here and I'll tell him that he should keep it damn safe. Puts it down below the, uh, the bar. Uh, make sure it gets onto his room. Ooh. Are you leaving it? That might not be the best place. But... <laughs> uh, uh, I understand. Uh, you might be worried that it might be stolen, but trust me, uh, no one tries to rob off me. <laughs> I've got a reputation around here, so I like to make sure what that. What is your uh, reputation? Uh, well, I mean, I uh, don't. Uh, and then one of the other people kind of leans across in the bar. This human. Uh, kind of in his 30s, and he's going to go, You don't know the Grey and Bull? I'm new here. Well, I mean, where's here? I mean, this guy, he was a grand champion across about 13 different arenas. Well, come on now, Niles, okay? It's, you like uh, to fight. Mr. Bull, I have no doubt of your prowess. However, a, a group of brigands tried to rob us mere moments ago for this sword, and they saw where we came in. Well, those group of brigands will be stopped at the door, and I'll tell them to uh, go on their merry way. Uh, oh, I like to fight. I like to fight. I don't like to fight. Um, why? Why no longer? Well, uh, I was uh, I was forced into it over by the city of the Seven originally, and then uh, when I when I kind of got away from all that, a lot of the dead of my family, I just kind of uh, I stuck around for a little while and realized that. Uh, not worth the bloodshed. No coin should come with a blood price. Hmm. I want to arm wrestle this guy so bad, <laughs> but it's not very in character. <laughs> 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 but uh, I'll make sure to get someone in this room once uh, we close up in a few hours. How about that? Perfect. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, I'm happy to have you here. Again, the we've won a few bouts ourselves, you know, recently. Oh? What's your mm. names? The Six. <clears throat> oh, the Six? Oh. Hey, Nella, what, where's, your, where's that post you're showing me? And this girl comes over and kind of posting and picks something else. Let's see. Well, how about an adventuring group? You should have opened one of that. I go stand at the window. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it looks right. Wow, that is impressive stuff right there. I've, I mean, we don't get many adventurers coming up here. Uh, I mean, the reputation of uh, taverns and, and inns having bounties galore. Rumors in the area. I mean, we don't have them up here. We're so high up. Not very really much happens, but uh, exciting. Are you, uh, uh, is farming involved in something like that? Don't tell oh, me God. an ant has got him or something, right? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, hey. <laughs> I hope not. Tell you what. Mm -hmm. He looks across your group. I'm going to let one of you do a persuasion check. It's almost like a charisma, uh, just based, like, uh, 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 overall feeling charisma check. That he's, uh, he's, he's kind of almost trying to count your vibes. Uh, mm -hmm. So whoever wants to do the persuasion check, you get a plus two, because this is the first time the six has been mentioned. Okay. Oh boy. I can do it if we want. Sure. You've been talking to him a lot. Yeah. I have a plus it. eight. Okay. 28. Mm. Beautiful. Okay. And he's safe. Well, if he's not here, uh, then that's anyone's guess. How long has he been gone? Two weeks. He leans in. Oh. Is that normal? Room nine. Uh, 
takes a key, puts it onto the desk. And he leans into it so he can keep his voice down. Between us, uh, last time he was here, he was a little bit uh, shaken up. Um, a little bit worried. Uh, I asked him what was up, and uh, he, uh, he kind of just he brushed it off. He just said nothing. And uh, Bakateri was a little scared. It's like, uh, I thought maybe he just had a, I don't know, maybe he a, it was a little stressed out or something, but uh, I don't know. And like I said, he doesn't bring guests up here. He's this is when himself. he met with the automaton. Yeah. Wasn't scared of that thing, though. Mm. They were close. Mm. Uh, have you been in his room since then? Yeah, I mean, I like to keep all the patrons' uh, rooms clean and uh, ready for them for the comeback. It's in, there's nothing uh, out of the ordinary. I mean, his tools are all over the place, but uh, they usually are. Uh, I put them back in their order, um, but... Uh, no, I mean, last time he was up there, he looked like he was tinkering with something. That's all. Would you, I assume, like us to look into him? I mean, I wasn't too worried until y'all started talking about him, but uh, he's got an adventuring group looking for him, and uh, well, now I'm a little bit worried for the little guy. Uh, yeah. Is is there any reason for the sudden pretense of you not wanting others to hear this conversation? The bay is a, a difficult place. Um, I may not look to have blood attached to my coin anymore, but that doesn't mean everyone around here does. Uh, Best to talk in harsh tones when you're around the bay. Oh, the reason. Well, will feel around for the key and then stand up while they're conversing, and then we'll say we'll be discreet, and then hand the key in the vague direction of <clears throat> Carlisle. And you let me know Please. if you find out anyone who. Uh... <laughs> Not there. Oh, Carlisle's already gone. Has Carlisle's gone? <laughs> Carlisle's like fucking twenty feet back, just staring at <laughs> Do this. <laughs> I love imagining the comedy of that. Yeah. My hand's gonna wait like 10 seconds and go, yeah. Carlisle! Doing this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you all are! <laughs> Come on out. <laughs> She'll like dangle the key. <clears throat> you just uh, let me know if you find out anyone of And put a hand on him, then uh, you let me know as well. We look after our people up here. But, uh... And your name just bull <laughs> no i'm tonk tonk is my my given oh. name but uh yeah tonk the grand bull <laughs> i wasn't always mm. so gray what color were you well, well ma'am my hair was black <laughs> it was uh it's just the age it's kicked in now since it settled mm. down i am not from here sorry no that's fine that's fine where about you from North. Well, <laughs> must be quite far north, because uh, you do have a unique appearance to you as well. She, like, does not know how to react <laughs> to that. <laughs> hmm. All right. Um, yeah, okay. I assume we don't all want to go up there. We all march after, after being like, order. we'll be really discreet. Yeah. And yeah. Goes, Carlisle, the key. <laughs> I'd I say what the someone key was that for. can investigate with me at least. I need someone that is good at that. Not me. Uh, None of us have that. Yeah. I think we talked about this. It's our glaring weakness. Then whoever can give bonuses to us. And Dross would you have, have pretty good investigation just because it's a, in. I have a plus yeah. six. Oh, that's good. That's, that's good. Good. That's good. really good. good. Six is good enough. probably our best. I'll come. Go tag, go tag. Okay. Okay. Uh, so slipping off upstairs, room nine, you can see in, in the rounds. It's kind of one of the quieter corners of the room. Uh, you'd be able to uh, uh, unlock the door um, and head on into his room. Um, he lives a pretty little humble uh, life. He's just got a little bed in there. 
Um, you can see they've kind of got their own attached kind of bathroom sections. There's a little kind of almost like port loo rooms. Um, other than that, he's got a whole desk. Uh, he's got a couple of framed uh, images uh, or like framed like kind of almost like maps and 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 uh, other kind of patented uh, things he's come up with. You can see that um, he he has a layer line map on the on the wall, similar to what you saw in the in the Temple of Design uh, with his kind of signature there. Uh, he has maps of the area. He has some maps um, of all around the bay itself. It seems like he was one of the major cartographers of the bay. Um, but roll an investigation check for me. I'll give It'll you advantage because uh, got tech. Oh, yeah. Okay. A fourteen. <laughs> um, it's not a high DC because what you'll see about this room is it has been cleaned up. It doesn't seem like it's a place that he would keep hidden supplies. Um, there's not really much room for it. It seems like he kind of keeps mm. most of his work at work. And what you would see is on his desk, all of his tools, like his tinkering tools, all lined up. You see his calligraphy tools, uh, sorry, cartography tools, and you can also see his, um, like, a few tinkering, uh, tinkering tools. Um, you'd see, like, screwdrivers, spatulas, all these kind of things just all lined up. And then you'd also see a strange kind of set of, like, metal small discs, um, which have, like, almost little arcane runes on them. Um, and he's got uh, one of them over to the wards of the right. Uh, you'd also notice uh, one of the slots of these are missing. They're almost in this kind of like, almost like a, where you'd keep like vials of test tubes. He's almost got this, but for discs. And there's uh, there's three slots for it. Uh, one of them's missing. Um, like it's been taken out. Uh, but he's got these rounded discs. Imagine like kind of like old CD discs, but with like runic patterns okay. on them. What are the other discs? Do they have like things written on them or similar runic pattern um, on the other one? There's only three in total, one of them being missing, and then two there. Um, you can see these kind of runes on them in general. You can do a uh, arcana check if you want to see what they are. Sure. Is there any um, this room's like with these clear, things? This room's clear of like enchantments. There's no, no like that alarm one. spells or nothing seems to go warning off. spells. Okay. The, there was one thing I wanted to check mm -hmm. as well while we're going in. I wanted to see if this door had also been picked recently. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do a, I uh, the other one. Uh, I'm going to say just give me a Thieves' Tools for that one because you would know based on that, right? It's uh, kind of a Thieves' Tool but with, with Wisdom, if you can do that. Uh, 23. 23? Uh, no. Seems like his bedroom was left okay. alone or at least someone didn't find it. Okay. Um, can I copy the runes that are on these other discs to show in Drasa? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can write them okay. down. Um... I'm trying to think what else we might want to... I was going to ask, do we not want to take the discs because we already took his locket? Not that we should get in the habit of stealing, I, but... I think that it's better in our hands than whoever is looking for these things. Potentially, that right? Us, right? So... Mm -hmm. I That's think how yes. every thief feels, but yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> Better us than them. Yeah. <laughs> right. Better in my hands than them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need I this 40-inch screen TV. <laughs> Why shouldn't I have it? <laughs> should, I have it? <laughs> yeah. should be with me. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so then if if no one's been in here except for him, then the assumption is when he left, he took that disc, right? Mm -hmm. Not that somebody else has taken it. It seems like it. And he was scared and shaken up. Right. So I guess, yeah, I guess I'll take the other three with the intention of maybe the information we can glean from these other three will help us figure out what the fourth one two there's two so there's, there was three in total one of them is missing two two, two out of three. So oh, two. Sorry. that's okay no okay that's my bad sorry are they are they actually the size of like cds or are they smaller like uh imagine those mini player cds they're very small CDs discs. oh my god okay. my dad got really into this he thought it was the do future. any of us know anything yeah. about automatons and how they work does that go inside an automaton is what i'm immediately thinking okay would any of us know? Could any probably, of us Probably the automaton. The automaton. Could, I would probably know. <laughs> the automaton would you know. You can check when you go downstairs if you like. Yeah, once we once Desmond sees that, maybe Desmond mm. will 
Um, no, it is. Something. I also said they don't have a circle Eight. in the middle as well, missing. It's it's like a literally rounded disc itself. So it's like a mini disc player without the missing hole in the middle. No it's not center. like donut shape. Yeah. Okay. It's like a plate. Yes. Like a small yeah. plate. Full thing. Um, okay. Frisbee. Yeah. Okay. Frisbee. Is there a uh, um a place where? Sorry, I'm trying to gather my. Th lock, if in, I asked, lock it in. Lock in. If, I'm sorry. If I asked it the way that I was going to, you all would have been like, "Yeah, Dodger, the fucking desk, dude." <laughs> <laughs> Is there a spot on the desk where it looks like maybe? Can we do the the hotel notepad thing? Like, is there a spot where it looks like maybe he wrote something recently? Ooh, or... like leftover underneath the and writing. Can... Mm. Now you're thinking, Nancy Drew, let's go. Go and give me an investigation <laughs> check again. Okay. Normal? Yeah. I'm still giving you Oh, no, you did too. Carlos, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give you an advantage. Just kidding. Advantage again. A 22. Much better. Hey. Um, you can see where he... You could go through his desk and you could look through as well. And you can look through if he's, like, dumped any paper anywhere. Um, clearly been cleaned up. It looks like... Based on, on, on what you can look across his desk, that he doesn't do any of his real work in his room. Um, there's a little bit of tinkering in his room. He has no, like, lost notes, doesn't have any, like, scrawlings anywhere. Um, it looks more like, oh. from the couple of the <clears throat> maybe maps you would find inside, like, some of the desk drawers, it looks like he does, like, pleasure-based maps here. So he just kind of, stuff he mm. likes to draw, and, like, he kind of would draw, like, like a bench. Yeah. yeah, it's like his unwinding <clears throat> one. Um, okay, good. The discs with the runes on, are they magical in nature or no? Yes. Okay. Are they the only thing magical in this room? Are you in there? Mm. Yeah. Did you go there, Matt? Mm. Uh, yes. It was, I think it was you, me, and Carlo. Okay. Yeah. I'm having a staring contest with the bowl outside. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, well, I'm tearing up. You win. <laughs> That's a good one, though, but I gotta get back to the other patrons. <laughs> Turns around and starts seven again. Well, we'll do another one in a minute. That was uh, three in a row. That's me spent. Yes. Uh, <laughs> She's so weird. <laughs> Something's up with this guy. <laughs> Something's up with the guy? Nothing. <laughs> Something's wrong. Not the one that's just going like this. Be at this point. He's like, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> that's my daughter, dude. She's normal now. Whatever. <laughs> that guy knows. Fucking weird. <laughs> my baby girl. Or he doesn't yeah. want a false one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, just the discs are magical. Again, like an intro, it's a magical item. Hmm, uh, okay. okay. Unless you guys can I can't wait for someone with magical prowess to unpack these things. It's not me. <laughs> mm. <gasps> yeah, some sort of mage, you know. Yeah, yeah. Something like one that. <laughs> so nice to have one of those. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, you can exit his room, head downstairs. Uh, that's where the Did you check are. under his pillow, under his, <laughs> under his mattress? You could you scare his mattress. If you climbed like. in his bed. <laughs> I, I shifted his, his porridge. Bed, <laughs> Pull up the covers. Roll Live around. a day as farm and tech. See what he does. Uh, <laughs> just take his life. You might as well just turn into him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell that's enough. Just do it. <laughs> um, yeah, you can head back downstairs after finding those discs. Um, mm. Where the grand ball now is he's just serving up by the patrons, going to leave you guys over to your side. Uh, okay, then I think we can take off, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you could head out. They say, all right, well... Thanks so much for stopping in. Have a great time out there. Mm. Uh, keep Thank me you. updated. <laughs> Goes back mm. to seven. Um, you exit out of side of the tavern. Uh, with what intentions? Uh, I think we'd like to try to show the discs to Andrasa. Yeah. Yes, that. See, and and then maybe go to the guild, of the artificer. It's a language we can thingy, read. Guildy. And then artificer's guild, yeah. Where's Desmond? Yeah, looking for. Oh, oh. Desmond. Where am I? Like, yeah. in relation to the group? Mm hmm. 
Arthas is so sitting at the window. What are these yeah, distant? In the tavern, dude? I, <laughs> I, I, I as soon as he brought up the what are wanted, these? like not wanted posters, the six the posters, six, I yeah. sort of walked away, so I didn't look like Desmond of the look six. Like so yeah. should, are you yeah. there when they're showing off the discs for each other? Uh, in the Inside. tavern, still, yeah. As long as they went, they, yeah. they just oh, left. They, they went just outside, left. Yeah. Everyone went left. One left. Yeah. yeah, I would have left with yeah. them. Yeah. Um, you would recognize. Should we turn it? around like a corner somewhere to look at these discs? By the way. Yeah. Step into an alleyway. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alleyway disc moment. Aside the, the tavern, uh, you lift up them. Desmond, you would recognize them. <gasps> they feel familiar. Go ahead and <sighs> give me. Uh, give me a straight a intelligence check. check. Okay. I'll give you advantage. Oh. Double one. And to don't say that. What the hell? Uh, hey. Double, double 21. 21. Ooh. It was kind was of right. double, It's though. almost like a spark <laughs> opens in your mind where you, you feel familiar with these. And you recognize them as almost memories. This is like a way of storing automaton memories specifically in builds like your own um you can form your own memories you don't need something like this but it's a way of like storing them down um and it's it's why automatons can sometimes have their memories removed so easily uh these two though are specifically memory discs would i know if there's a way that i could access them uh i would say with the 21 you immediately feel like towards the side of your neck almost like you'd forgotten about there being any way to open this. There's like, almost like it's just a seam that you would have filled, like it's almost like a birthmark to someone. You immediately recognize that this is where these can go. Like you've had this done to you before. Oh man. I think I can use these if we can maybe find somewhere to settle for a bit. I don't know how long it's gonna take. To our it's issue. Yeah. Would that be safe? Do you know? I'm sure it won't overwrite my memories, hopefully. Oh, God. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't very confident. I'm going <laughs> to Well, the hope is that it would add, not take away, right? Mm. It would add information for you. I got plenty of blank space up here. <laughs> I'm not oh. insulting myself. I didn't mean it like, okay. <laughs> If you feel comfortable trying to put one in, then. I mean, it feels almost natural. I've never done it before, but I almost instinctively knew what to do with it. Mm. Mm. So I figure it's a shot. It's the best chance we got at figuring out what's happening. Okay. Maybe we should do that before we go to the guild. Mm. Because if we run into. <laughs> Tech, like, looks a bit like not unsure of how to say this uh desmond's if we run into other automatons like you as seems to be implied it might be good good more information rather than less if there is information about yourself or should we go back to our our room then. I almost feel like looking into something like this. We should go to our camp because it's going to be easier to tell if there's Ooh, anyone true. following us. Mm. Yes, that's smart. Mm. Let's do that. Okay. okay. We go back to camp. Yep, going Yay. back down. <clears throat> uh, leaving the leaving the town of Warn Steps, <laughs> you head back towards your camp. Uh, Close fist. And you end back up. Uh, uh, you see the whole kind of camp is fully set in, settled in now. There's some people that come in and out. It's probably late afternoon now, so probably less uh, shoppers coming in. Um, but definitely a... Uh, the calm sensation of being outside of a, a busy, bustling town as you enter back into your campsite. Are there towns sort of coming out to shop at our camp? Yes, yeah, some people come like out new. to shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some yeah. merchants stopping by, trading with different goods. The storehouse goods, uh, along with kind of general uh, uh, Van der Vol's shop, etc. Okay. Mm. 
Do we have like a common room we can kind of common tent? That we can Probably Andrasus. Andrasus is Andrasus huge and big ass tents. Unnecessarily yeah. gaudy. Yeah. But would they would they make a big deal about that? Yeah, it should. Of course, I can. I can have all of you come inside. But of please don't uh, don't drop anything on the ground, dear. Okay, it's real <laughs> silverware in there. Mm. Yeah, you could go inside there. There'd probably be a long table still. Okay. Is it real silverware though? It is, my dear. It's one thing that is real here. No, I'm asking you as a DM. <laughs> uh, like, is, this con is this conjured just like her partner? Uh, I would say... I would say Andras is the kind of person that would keep real silverware around. Yeah, uh, I don't think The fake why, table, but, but real silverware, yeah. Mm. Okay, well... Should we prepare for the worst case of scenarios? Yes. When do, do we this? know what to do and what to do well, if something uh, goes wrong? Well, firstly, let's see if we can figure out what these symbols mean, right? What these runes are. Mm. It, Whatever it says on them could help us a lot with figuring out whether or not this is dangerous. Mm. The first rune says Windows Factory Reset CD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she goes back to level one. <laughs> God <Yeah>. damn it. <laughs> um... Does anyone have comprehend language? Andrasa does, right? Andrasa does, does, yeah. yeah. Mm. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes, please, Andrasa. Andrasa. <laughs> she would Andrasa, relay. You go. <laughs> uh, it's not necessarily language. This would be something that has to be identified. Oh. 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 Desmond, pretty please. Well, <laughs> Desmond. <laughs> yeah, I'll spend a few minutes okay. identifying. Mm. Uh. You learn that these are uh, automaton memory disks, uh, magical in their nature. Uh, these two particular ones you've got are blank. These are kind of fresh slated ones. Oh. Uh, I mean, the other one he took was he was using that for a reason. Um, these ones, though, can be used by you, Desmond, as a means of if you put them in, uh, put one in there. If there's ever any memories or anything that you want to think up and slot into there, you can. And by removing it, you can give those memories to someone else, along with the fact that you can hide them away from yourself if there's something that you learned that oh. you don't want to learn anymore. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Holy okay. shit. Dude, that would have been that so much been bad so for him. Last in God expansion. God yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and God oh God. Come on, man. This is the Shane patch, dude. <laughs> Wait, so you could technically yeah. illegally record any conversation yeah. by just thinking about it afterwards and putting it on a disc. That's not bad. Kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Okay. Um. I I have a question about mm -hmm. the. So you, if you think of a memory, you can store it to the disc. Yes. What if you have a very good imagination and you can I produce a memory. false memory to give to someone? Well, yeah. It's it's kind of almost like in, like creating thoughts into a uh, into a tangible yeah. form. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Good to know. That's bad, though. It's terrifying. Yeah. It means there's yeah. no validity to any fucking piece of information we find on any of these CDs. They could have just embellished the thought. Hmm. I will say also, you can you can see through people's, like, see it as if you remember it. Get insight. Uh, hear it like you remember it, everything like that. Yeah, you can um, definitely insight okay. portions of it. Almost like looking at AI art, you know, like you'd be able to pick up on discrepancies of their memories. Something's you guys are going right. to see it through my yeah. mind, my dark, twisted mind. Hey, welcome my dark, Give me one last a fucking second. <laughs> In my cyber He just pictures Basil's face when everyone he meets. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call him in cyberpunk? <laughs> Choom. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, no I, I know what Sam's like talking about. Literally. Uh, um, like cyber dance. Dream Di dance. Yeah. So, oh, brain dream dance? dance. Brain, brain dance. dance. Yeah. It is like a brain dance. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Choom, we're about to go cyber psycho. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um should we just go to Akras then? Is that the Officers Guild? Yeah, I guess so. That, yeah. yeah, that's where the uh, mm. one of the automatons is from, from the locket, pr presumably. Yeah. Who knows yeah. Farman? Okay. Your next destination. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to go straight back into the town, you go straight back to Aquas. Uh, you could head on inside again now. Still kind of late afternoon, so you can see like they're starting to to close up shop, but well, not not fully. This is kind of like the last couple of hours of the shop being open. Uh, and you'd arrive <laughs> on Layer Nine Rixa, the Guild Hall, uh, the, like in the, the newer Guild Halls uh, layer. Um, and you'd head on inside towards Awkward's Guild of Patented Gadgets and Unmatched Artificery. Um, inside, you'd see a, uh, a kind of decently sized gadget shop. Um, you'd see stocking some shelves nearby and kind of finishing up for the day, like preparing for the next day of, um, uh, of, of, of sales, is a two-headed um, shrunken down Etin. Um, you can see the kind of broad features, but he's kind of much smaller. He's about eight foot, so he's, he's he's a lot smaller than he once was. But he's reaching up and kind of lifting up different things onto shelves. Uh, one of the... Uh, both of the brains are missing, and there's kind of glass containers with, like, new brains inside. Um, but wearing kind of nice fineries on top, sh uh, stocking all the shelves. Uh, alongside, going along with kind of a clipboard, just marking down everything, um, you can see a, a young magen with blue skin. Um, the people that have the spellborn, the ones that are built out of, um, of magic. So you can kind of almost see like abjuration on this one. Um, and, uh, uh, you can see some customers are, uh, are passing in and out. Uh, and there's a lower section to the shop as well, like stairs that go down to like another section of it, which has kind of more gadgets and a little bit more of a display on them. But it's, a, it's very much your typical kind of general shop, but a lot of it is for like tools and, um, small or kind of makeshift gadgets that can help like, um, gloves you can wear to help support you if you're doing mining, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of like little mini artificery here. Um, the the mage, as you go inside, kind of looks across the audience and goes, <clears throat> uh, Make it quick if you go to stick around, Fred. It's a bit we're going to be closing up shop in the next hour or so, okay? Uh, and then, like, kind of marks and goes, <clears throat> Roast the other side. Okay, let's go. Good. <clears throat> Odds and walks off, and he walks off with him. Um, you notice pretty soon afterwards, coming in, uh, uh, sawing things on different shelves to the left. A kind of softish bluish color inside of these kind of fluid chambers and plating all across there as well. Um, similar design, but slender form to Desmond is an automaton. Um, but matching the description of Greybull? Uh, matching the description of what, sorry? Grey Ball. Uh, yeah, the, the Grey Ball's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar to yeah. that. Uh, not quite the, the one that uh, uh, the gnome was talking to. Um, a slender form. One of the two that you'd seen in the locket. In the locket. Um, mm. Kind of a cloak across her, and she's stocking different things into the shells and, like, matching and making sure they were good. Uh, notices you're kind of coming along and goes, Oh, I, I can get one of the others if they, if you want to come shopping over here, but I can tell you about a couple of things down here. I know we're closing up shop soon, so I got to get back to make sure all of this is good before I go away for the night. Via's going to whisper to Desmond. She sounds just like you. <laughs> Does she? Mm. Is this what I sound like yes. to you? My ears are very perceptive and trained. Yes. Yeah. They, they do sound a bit like you. <laughs> we got some interesting That's stock, man. Um, we got these balloon jetpacks of sorts. If uh, they, they just came in, um, we've also got some a new stock of torpedo arrows, uh, or, or maybe some birds of the feather. She knows these kind of small little kind of uh, uh, plushy like birds on the side. Uh, anything you you're looking for in particular? Uh, above board, this is, you said this is one of the automatons in the picture with yeah. Paxton. Yeah. The slender one. There was like and a broader one and a slender one. Okay. Do we want to draw attention to this while they're at work or do we want to really know? I don't want to get up trouble. Soon. Yeah. Like, we want to ask them about it. We don't want to do it. No. While they're on shift. Yeah. Let's, let's see if she like exits the building or something well, when they're. If it seems like they're closing. Yeah. They said they we were could... closing in an hour so we could just hang out. For an hour, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, just loiter in the street until they come out. <laughs> Post up. Yeah. If if she's if she's like talked to us, I think yeah. Tack will say, oh, we're just sort of looking around. Thank you. Oh, no problem at all. If you need anything, just come by. 
and she continues kind of sorting up the shops. And then we can kind of meander around like little weirdos and then leave, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and, yeah. Okay. And yeah, just creep on the door. Until yeah, wait nearby like, for the hour. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you two last couple of customers leaving. Um, and it isn't long before uh, you see the major step out. Uh, cool and bangers. Rose goes up, okay? And walks on down the street, kind of with his uh, pack on his back and moves on down towards wherever he lives. Um, and uh, and then you'd see the Etten steps out, closes up the door, locks it, grabs a shutter at the top and then pulls that down, kind of locks that as well. Um, <gasps> holding off the entire shop. Uh, Does she stay in the shop? And then, uh, yeah, you didn't see her exit. Uh, Fuck! And then leans down and he casts, <laughs> we're breaking a, in. casts a spell on top of it. Um, oh, fuck's sake. Not the spell. Up. Did she Come look on. a specific oh. way to Morgane? Like magic wise. Magic wise. No, no different from Desmond. Shit. She must just like shut down when they're done. Mm. That's how they treat automatons around these parts? That's I don't think so. That's <laughs> now I, I say, now I say. That's literally what, <laughs> that's literally what Desmond does when we sleep. <laughs> He just goes peace and then <laughs> we'll get a big soft bed. <laughs> Two locks and a spell. Uh, we can get rid of the spell, right? What color we'll the spell? Are they going to draw again? Uh, what we'll color spell? Imagine Blue. Should be able to just a spell. Uh... Blue. Problem right. is, uh, well, we're gonna have, we're, <laughs> it's going to be open. We're not going to be able to close it back up the same way uh, we found it. If oh, we go goodness. in right now. But I don't know if we have the time to be spending a night waiting for them to reopen to try no. again. But we also don't have a very good finger on the pulse of how well all of the people working here know one another. And if they're going to notice us out in the open. Fuck. Breaking into this shop. How, how busy does this place, is this place like this road as it gets right towards now, the evening, not like not as on. busy. As if, if you're waiting until like in a nightfall, um, as the sun starts going down. Are there no windows or vents or any any security flaws this building has potentially that we could sabotage? We can look around. Yeah. Before we go for the front door, like We're triple layer it. security yeah, system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then have um, one window left open. Yeah, can we do like a <laughs> scope out? Of yeah, the you can just scope out. Uh, you would notice that the all of the windows of this building are barred up. Uh, metallic bars. Uh, they have a mm. lot of expensive wares inside. They keep it pretty locked down. Um, hold on. Mm. Do you have to be able to see where you're going with Dimension Door? Uh, I don't think so, but you can... Let me double check it. You might appear inside of a, a wall. It might be. Oh, God. Uh, mm, you arrive at spot, uh, no, uh, spot desired. A place you can see, one you can visualize, or one you can describe by stating experience. So, because you've been oh, inside, you're in the store, you're good. you can visualize it. Yeah. Good How thing. many can we move with Dimension Door? Um, it says I can one. bring along objects as long as their weight doesn't exceed what I can carry. Yeah, I was wondering if I could. You can oh, bring, I can't bring it says you can also bring yeah. one willing creature of your size or smaller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can bring one person in with me if I dimension door. Bucket and mop, let's go. I know Or you bring it. them out and then bring <laughs> them back in. Oh. oh. Bring him out smart. Yeah, that's really smart. Or I could try to vortex warp him out so we don't have to use so many spells. How does you vortex warp do him through a window? If I could just see him through a window, one of these barred windows. All right, Desmond, get the mushroom. Are in any of them? <laughs> Yeah, can we... We're gonna see if you can see him can, from here. You can't see him from here. Can I windows. keep an eye out of, on watch or something? Mm. Uh, an ear out? <clears throat> yeah. You can, you can, can um, see through the windows. I you can, can, no, you can see through the windows. You just can't see them inside. Them. Unless I forgot to update this, I can only cast this once, I believe. Okay. So I would get in, but I wouldn't be... <laughs> I wouldn't be able to I get it. Looks like it's battering ram front, front door window. technique. No, no, no. 
I could get tap on window. Tap I was gonna, I, yeah, that might be. Morgane will, Morgane will caution everyone and be like, the spell is alarm. If it triggers, they will know we were inside, no matter well, how careful. Well, what if, what if we dispel it? Is that that's a thing you can do, right? Yes. If okay, one moment. Do Morgane will we have a way to put an alarm back mm. on? Mm. I should go address that. I think I, I know alarm is. That doesn't my seem like an address class. spell. Hmm. Actually, the problem, the problem with putting alarm back on, I mean, we're going to explain this, but um, the problem with putting alarm back on is you decide who triggers the alarm, so they'll know it wasn't theirs. Either yeah, way, I know we have snare and alarm, alarm as my specialist artificer. Question. Yeah. Um. Would locate creature work on her? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd be able to tell where in the building she is. Mm -hmm. If that's helpful. <laughs> um, but also, if we put an alarm back on, it won't be his alarm. Yeah, no one right? So he yeah, won't no be one able to take it down and he'll know something's fucked up anyway. <laughs> alarm is a 20 foot radius. So either we have to get in from like the back of the building and just not go near the the 20 foot, but 20 is pretty big radius alarm. Yeah, I think either we just say, fuck it, there's going to be some trace of us getting in there, but we need to do this tonight and we don't have time to care. Or we mm. try to get uh, them towards a window so that Desmond can maybe vortex warp them outside if they're still like moving and awake. Um, Make a noise or, or something. knock on the door. Hello? Shop open? Nothing. That might activate She's an fully alarm. aware in there. When I'm in low power, I'm still fully aware of everything around me. She might so, go to the door. Wait, so how does Vortex closed. Warp work? Um, if it's a creature I could see, they have to, they have to fail a con save. But she's probably not, like... She's probably, like, commoner level, hopefully. Doesn't draw have sending? Uh, yeah, oh, she should I have do. Sending. Yeah, oh, yeah. I have sending. You could, could you sending to her? To um the automaton? If she's shut down, would it get to her? Well, Desmond is claiming yeah, that they don't really shut down. And see. Mm -hmm. Maybe she um, can help us reach okay. her. Okay. Yeah, let's try sending to her then. Uh, what do we say? Yo, bitch. Um, <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is up, homie? We have not formally met. <laughs> Listen, um, we got we got some mad shit to talk about outside. So maybe arm and tax in danger. We want to help. Should have tried hitting I mean, her up. I should have tried asking her on a date. You know, <laughs> missed our chance. What if this Cute. is like your automaton mom? True, oh. Yeah, you gotta you gotta tread carefully. <laughs> you gotta tread real lightly. These parts right now, you don't know nothing about what's going on around here. <laughs> I mean, cause we learned from the uh, grain bowl tonk that Furman didn't seem shaken up by the automaton that he was with or scared. Like it was seemed like an intentional meeting. So mm. if this one is related, cause they're both in the locket picture, we can assume that they care about his well being. So maybe if we say like Armin's in danger, we Armin taxi. We're trying danger. to yeah, yeah, trying to find him. Could use your assistance. Okay. Um. Okay. I'll I'll sending her. Mm hmm. Um. Hello. We met before closing. Farm and tax is in danger. We want to help. Could you assist us? Please respond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'd hear her voice back. Farman's in danger, but Duke just met with her, met with him. 
Oh. Oh, I want to help, but I'm stuck in my display case. I don't get let out until the morning. What oh. the fuck? Anything for farming, though. I hope he's okay. I can cast it again. Do you consent to us breaking you out? Do you, do you consent <laughs> to break in? Well, maybe she... I wonder if she knows the things to disable the code and come out herself. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's the alarm spell. Like, there's no disabling Oh, it. okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, she said she's in her display case. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Dimension door? <laughs> Are we worried I, that yeah. was set up? Again, alarm? I can only cast it once. So I could I, Oh. In case I, there's like do, some yeah. other extra weird alarm shit in there, I could change yeah. my shape, dimension door in, get her, come to a window so that homie can see us and and warp out. Um hmm. I don't know if any of that would trigger the alarm. Or she, I dispel so, the alarm, we go in, probably, we chat with her, and she locks it behind us when we leave. She and then if she the knows alarm. how or she's the one who put the alarm that's tied to her no no no, no, no she no, didn't she it was the, the alarm all the it locks from the outside i thought it was including her the shutter which and then, they can't do from the inside yeah yeah i mean we could also so, ask her if she knows of any security flaws building <laughs> yeah is there a way we she's can get stuck in in the case sure yeah okay. um yeah i'll i'll send to her again um do you know a way to get in? Um, I mean, like, we're just outside. Or, or you out. Or you out. One or yeah. the other. Or get you out. We can help. Um... Would rather not trip alarm. <laughs> uh, you hear a response say, Afraid not. Ever since Duke got sold off, they been mighty, mighty dangerous with the hole. Well, they don't want to lose me either. So they put bars on the windows. Oh. Bro, and I'm locked in here. Break her out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This dude sounded like he sucks, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna so dispel break out. the alarm. Okay. Which oh, I believe yeah. doesn't doesn't set it off. No. No, we just cut the alarm. Yeah. I'll just, I want just gonna to say go before in, we start doing anything like that, if we're gonna do anything out front, including dispelling security measures at stores, maybe Desmond should do pass without trace because you're like the loudest <laughs> fucker I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> Morgan, I'm, I'm not even just loud. Fucking bro. everything you do, <laughs> you clank and clack everywhere you fucking walk. Okay, that's Desmond. That's Desmond. You have walk into like an open manhole or something on the way over there or some shit. Okay, I don't know. I have blind fighting, motherfucker. I can see <laughs> in front of my feet. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna pass that trace before we do any breaking in. Okay. Um, I'm going to change myself to look like Eden. Okay. Smart. Yeah. Yeah, this weird feeling where you feel like a second head grab you, and kind of your head is now <laughs> separated into two different forms. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you've ever done a two-headed character before, but this is basically you're seeing out both eyes right now, both mouths, and Ugh. you can kind of feel yourself separate. You know, like, when you get too high, yeah. assuming it's legal where you are. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know when you get too high and you're like hyper aware of where your yeah, hands are. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got like, that. Yeah, no, yeah. No, oh my god. Like, <laughs> it's a strange peripheral that's always there now as well. Okay, uh, you disable the alarm I with. Just kind of like stand there and pretend to be doing something to the alarm. <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you just sped it. You still got the shutter and the door behind it. Oh boy. Yep. I will. I mean, I'm gonna sneak. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this all quiet. Carlisle, Go ahead and be head up. yeah, stealth check. I'm gonna stealth. That's a Ooh. thirty. Okay. Well, technically a forty because you got plus ten from 
already. Yeah. I could Jesus. essentially walk through the wall if I was so inclined, but I don't yeah. know I can yet. Uh, and now I'm going to do my thieves tools. First one is a 23 oh to open God. the shutter. You lean down. You can hear it come loose. Next one is the door. It's a 25. Exactly the DC you needed. A much harder lock. Ooh. Far more complicated. You can see several different kind of notches on it. You have to go through each and then almost hear like a vault click. And then you hear it and the door opens. We have one in. Where's Carlisle? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, scuttle yeah. in. Inside. Walks in. Uh, right. Looks around for any other security measures. That can we close the shutter inside. behind us so it's not to draw attention? I don't yeah. think you can. You can't close the shutter. Unless someone wants to hang outside and close the shutter mm. like manually. Well, I mean, if you leave the door open, you can cl you could pull the shutter down and close it. Uh, and you could probably yeah suspecting. awkwardly do it. That's true. It wouldn't be locked. Yeah. I keep your foot on it. Yeah, we can do that then. Carlisle do that like as best as he can. Mm-hmm. Uh but otherwise you're in the empty shop. And uh you can see all of the kind of displays ready for the next day. Um, Are there any other security things going on in here that we can roll tell? A perception check. Gonna be doing Are there any magical those. security things going on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no magical security things that you can see. Oh, you can, only, but you can see magical yeah. items. 20? Mine's with hearing, technically. Yeah, you close okay. your eyes, just kind of listen in. I'll say with your nat 20 of hearing, you can Beep. see there's almost like this wardrobe like <laughs> display case, but it's like like similar to the one I was wearing, like a, those kind of acrylic display cases, but black and black and mm -hmm. glass um, with a lock on the outside, similar to the front door's lock. Um, and you can hear a slight knocking from inside. About the size of a person. It's like a blacked out display case. Yeah. I can't even see out. Oh. That's so fucked. I think she's in there. That I one? Yeah. Mm. Okay. And this isn't going to have some kind of magical explosion if I touch it right from the outside. No, you're fine. Uh, you're fine. Morgan. What if it's like the old fashioned type of explosion? I is it going to do one of those? Carlisle looks at Desmond as well. <laughs> looks at a bucket of gasoline on top. Now, Desmond, you've introduced a new situation that neither I, need, I, I need both of you to color. give me your input on if I'm in danger when I do this. From a magical standpoint, you're fine. However, now Carlisle has me wondering if there is a bomb. In a physical standpoint? <laughs> uh, I see you can, nothing. You can do an investigation check. It's absurd that Shane just conjures a fake bomb and now we've got a roll for it. Dude, <laughs> Desmond, you're my physical check, dude. Come on, let's see. I'm looking the around, looking. 18? Uh, uh 18. Uh, yeah, you would do. Uh, not see He's anything. Like a long time. Long time. No. There's a bomb and there's not. What uh, the fuck has Carlisle done? You. No, 18 doesn't give you any indication there's any, like, rigged things on there uh, that you know of. But it looks like a pretty complex lock. Similar to the one on the front door. This one's already right. pretty tricky. Yeah. Then I'm going to need your help. And Carlisle's going to crack his knuckles and get to it. I'll guidance lock picking whatever I need to. Okay. Okay. Here we go. That's a 27 to start. If That's that enough. is not sufficient. It's enough. I was waiting to see if you doing anything, but you, you click through <laughs> and you hear the slight sound and then as like an electricity turns off inside of it. Uh, and you can see it, it did have a trap me uh, mechanic on it, but only on the lock itself. And you'd open it up and you'd oh. see on the inside, the glass is see, you can see out of the glass. You just can't see in. Um, it's opaque. And uh, you can see Adelaide there um, kind of like stood entirely. The automaton, sorry, I didn't give her name yet. Uh, she kind of stands there uh, waiting. She goes, well, how'd you get past all that? I didn't expect y'all would actually make it in until the morning. Um, she like slowly steps outside, like almost like a, a kid sneaking in the hallway. She goes, Mr. Shield's not around, right? Hmm. 
No, not, not a trick or anything. Tack, tack drops the form. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was seeing it. Oh. It's, it's sorry, it was just a. That's a scary form. trick you got there. I mean, I like Mr. Rose, but uh, he's lost Mr. Shield, and that's a whole problem in itself. Um, is farming okay? We don't know. Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out. Is Duke okay? Is Duke with him? Well, I mean, I know that he went and met him. He was sold, or? Duke got sold, because he, I mean, um, he went and met up with, with Mr. Farman, and Mr. Chill wasn't very excited about that. And uh, an offer came in, a pretty hefty offer, uh, to buy a, a Duke. And uh, he sold him, but then he regretted it immediately. He did not want to send him. He was kind of doing his punishment and then realized just how unique we were. And um, I guess he's been trying to buy him back, and he's been furious ever since. I mean, he had all the bars installed in the last week. He's made sure to make sure that... Uh, I don't get taken by anyone. There's been a lot of people trying to buy after me too. Who do you know where those offer, where that offer came in from for Duke? Yeah, I do. Um, it was done kind of like a favor. Uh, I don't know. There's some uh, interesting fellow uh, who was tr trying to buy him in the first place. Um, kind of a shady looking type. Uh, he, he came in with a lot of coin. Uh, well, first time he came in asking about us, he tried to talk to us, and Shield taught him to. Let, uh, leave us alone. Um, he kind of, he was asking questions about farming at the time. Um, and then next time he came in, he said that he had a backing offer and he'd like to buy one of us. Uh, so Duke was sold, and I believe it was the Guild of Drifting Sparks that uh, bought, bought mm. him. Um, Tuck will pull out the picture. Is this Duke? It's farming a Duke, yeah. See, farming found us a long time ago. Um, when, uh, I don't really remember what we were running from, but Duke and I, we were running. Um, he said from the cabal, so we never get taken towards the capital, but we were running away from something. But, uh, he, he took all those bad memories away. Uh, mm. and, uh, and ever since, I mean, we, we were farmers for the longest time. And then, well, he lost us, and, 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 well, he's been trying to save up coin to buy us back ever since, but. Mr. Shield's been real possessive about it and all that, so, uh, uh, you know. How did he lose you? Mr. Farmer's got a bit of a gambling problem. Um, oh. and he, he got it in the wrong sorts, and, I mean, he was trying to sort it out, and he didn't actually think you'd lose. Um, he used to come by and visit us until Mr. Shield, uh, banned him from coming into the shop. I know that he lives around here. We're not really meant to see him either, but Duke went and saw him one night. I know it must have been a couple of weeks ago or so. Um, he left a note for us to come meet him at where he stays. And uh, when Duke came back, it was like everything was gone. Like he didn't even remember going and meeting him. Um, oh. And uh, I, I don't know. Uh, the, Mr. Shield was real <laughs> particular about it. I found out about it, and he was real angry. Um, but, uh, mm. And then... Yeah? Duke was purchased oh. by the Guild of the Drifting Sparks after that, and the purchaser was asking questions about farming. Yeah, but it didn't seem like the purchaser was coming from that guild. He was doing it on behalf of them. Uh, I think the goal was just to get Duke out of there. And I warned Duke. I said he's going to try. But Duke said he said in his way. He said, I don't know anything. Uh, I'm not going to give them anything. Don't worry. I'll be back in a little while. And he's not been back. Um, I know they got that warehouse. Um, I'm worried they're going to strip him down for parts. They say we ain't got souls or nothing. But um, Duke has a soul. We both do. Where's that warehouse? Um... The warehouse itself, it's down in that industrial area. I'm not really allowed. I've gone down there a couple of times when we've been doing shipments and whatnot, but always with Mr. Shield. It's a larger warehouse right on the edge. They've got a whole um, airship port and everything inside, but it's it's 
not really the main function of the place. They just, I think they build automatons there. Trawbots, warbots, all sorts. Imagine he's got taken down there. Mm. Well, it sounds like we need to get him out. And he don't know anything, of course. And we don't know what's happened to farm, and he wouldn't, didn't know a thing. I believe him, he would have told me. How, how long ago did you meet Farmin for the first time? Got to be a couple of blessings ago or so. A few. We, uh... Was it... Or maybe you don't remember. Was it only the two of you running? That's all I remember. We were, we were running from the capital, getting away from something. And, uh... I mean... I remember when we first met Farmin, he just kind of, I remember pushing through some trees and then sat there on a tree stump and drawing up a map as this little scared gnome. And he, he was all startled when we ran out, started holding his hands up, saying to give us any coin we want. But we told him, you know, hey, hey, help us hide. I don't know why from, quite frankly, but uh, he helped us hide along and he brought us with him. We'd help him draw up the maps. It was real good to us. Um, he treated us, uh, uh, I don't know, like, like family. And, uh, I mean, when he lost us, he had a whole problem or two. And we don't blame him, no. I mean, we kind of, we kind of pushed him to do it. We, we thought we'd get all the gold we need. Were you trying to get away? From farming? No, just, what did you need the money for? Yeah, he had the idea that we'd go somewhere far off, like Horizon's Rest or something. Somewhere, you know, far away from the bay. <laughs> A lot of us try to escape the bay, of course, because, I mean, only automatons with a soul are allowed to uh, walk freely around. I mean, other ones can, but, you know, you have to have a pass for them and whatnot. But, uh, apparently Duke and I, we don't have one. How do you acquire a pass? Well, that's kind of like, I don't know, what some of the artificers and whatnot around here have. Kind of like an, I don't know, we belong to them. How much was Duke bought for? I think about, <laughs> I mean, I didn't see the actual number and I wasn't there for the conversation, but it was enough to put gold symbols right in the eyes of Mr. Shield. I mean, it must have been the... 20,000 gold? 30? Jesus Christ. That was a big sum. Um, did Farman know that Duke was going to be purchased, hence him wiping his memory? No, the purchase happened after. It was, uh, uh, no one had interest in either of us until, uh, that man came on snooping. Um, and he was asking after farming. He came in after. <clears throat> and it was just a brief meeting that Duke had where his memory was wiped. He went, he went off for only a couple of hours. I had a cover from him and all, but... Uh... Mm, took him to the fucking vault, recorded that shit, removed it. I think. Maybe. <clears throat> but... Isn't she talking about the meeting where they were at, where they went to his room at the tavern? Yeah, where the, I guess if they were there the entire couple of hours, that's one thing. But why? Wh guess where's the missing I... disc, and why would he wipe Duke's memory if Duke had just been at the shop? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm wondering True. what did Duke have in his memory that Farman felt so compelled that day, acting scared to wipe. Mm that Duke may have not even been aware of, potentially? I wonder. Mm. Okay. But I was gone. Did she say how long ago he met with Duke? Two weeks ago. Not two weeks. Okay, so the day we're missing. Yeah. yeah. The day that he was acting the scared, was like he was acting scared, he met with an atomic which is Duke. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Mm. Wow. Wipe this man. I don't want to make any promises. We do intend to find him. It sounds like Duke could also use help. And if it seems like there is no safe future for the two of them here, would you want to be with them? We, well, I, I would, but I, I was told I had to stay here by Mr. Shield. And he's not so bad well, to us, it's just not much adventure in it, you know? He's, he's a little paranoid and whatnot, but I like the shop well enough. Um, what do you want? Because uh, <laughs> right now, Mr. Shield keeps you in a box. He locks you in a case at night. He does. Um, he didn't used to. I used to be able to roam the shop, make sure everything's good by the next day. In fact, we didn't even do restock until it was my time. I really enjoyed that quiet time to myself, but ever since he got paranoid over the purchase, then he's been a little bit more uh, reluctant to let me walk around. Um, no, no, nobody's really asked me what I want. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I know that my memory's gone from... Whatever happened, but I kind of remember like a feeling I want to be by a stream, like a river or something. I want to fish. Not that I can eat or anything, but it just seems like a fun thing to do. <laughs> um, I've got a real passion for it's maps now. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of want to be uh, seeing the world. Well, I'm going to say something that some of us might not exactly be too thrilled with the idea of right now. But as far as I'm concerned, if you don't come with us now, you ain't leaving this place. <clears throat> because we are not going to be able to close that door well enough. It's going to be obvious someone got in. Security is going to be two times better next time. And I can tell you one thing, I barely got through this door. On the plus side, he is going to think someone else took her. Mm, the guilt. Oh, he's going to be real Get mad to the him. camp. <laughs> and no one's going to think it was us. us. Take stealing real seriously around here, though. I mean, I know yeah. I'll get in trouble, but so will y'all. Sort it. Risk worth taking. Oh. I think we could use your help, and I think that you don't want to be here. It's beneficial for both of us. Right. Also, have you walk out the door on your own? It's not stealing. You're just leaving. <laughs> well, I don't have a soul, so kind of you're is. alive. She kind of looks around. And goes that? What? What do you all do? <laughs> we're um, we're an adventuring group. We're heroes. We travel all over the world. <laughs> well, do it open with it. motion with the fucking <laughs> stickers on his face. That <laughs> <laughs> sends me, dude. <laughs> she, she's kind of like, well, how do you just had to say that? I mean, you see, you travel? I mean, you can tell me all about mm. it when we get out of here, suppose. I mean... <clears throat> He won't be back till morning, but I mean, just in case. Um, okay. Well, I don't have any things to grab. Uh, B will um, take off her huge like shawl with the hood 
and put it over Adelaide and put the hood up and like tie it nice and tight just <laughs> as like a disguise. Fancy that, a little adventurous hood. I, I, thank you very much. Uh, to get you out of here in disguise. She kind of leans across and uh, grabs one of the kind of the balloons on this kind of pack and takes it and goes, I kind of wanted to fly one of these, but it wouldn't let me, so. <clears throat> I don't, you don't mind, I'm going to take it with me. We're going to be doing some stealing anyway. I might as well take some of it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, own part of the shop you work. I agree with that, and I, I practically invented a couple of these things, so. Okay. I think we should also take whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look, I mean, I mean we stole the most We are stealing what no, if I'm we break kidding, it down I'm to the kidding. value, like we're leaving with such an amount that anything else we technically take wouldn't really change the punishment just we're gonna pennies. fucking get if we it's not even going oh, the other shit's well, not even going on the police like report, bro. It. Like it's That's true. What else they got What's in here? here? Uh so you got loads of little gadgets, uh but three of them are most... saying that Joe, we're not stealing. I'm curious. Are you stealing? I just at least want to hear what's in We're there. Already stealing. We have eyes. We can look. <laughs> uh, so there at are the a few magic items you can buy uh, or steal. Sorry, uh, you've got the balloon jet packs, uh, which essentially <laughs> are uh, they give you a hovering speed of ten feet whilst you wear them. Uh, they usually have eighty gold each. Uh, they have an AC and an HP of uh, like low HP, fifteen HP, AC of eighteen. But they're basically balloon jet packs. Uh, you've got yourself some torpedo arrows in here as well. Um, which uh, when fired underwater, you don't get a disadvantage. They're not good outside oh. of water, but they're good side. They're good inside of water. Um, mm. So you basically can get some super speedy mm. arrows. They're usually forty gold each. Those in my coat. Yep, you can get up to twelve of those. Um, nice. Birds of a feather is another thing you can kind of grab. Uh, they're small, single-use uh, objects where, when you concentrate on them and uh, you hold on to it. You gain a magical flying speed of 20 feet for up to one minute, um, and it can carry up to 200 pounds. Um, you lose concentration if you get knocked off whilst flying with it, um, but uh, you basically can just use these as like a one-time use, and there's eight of those. Uh, if you want a little flying speed elsewise. Well, you may as well grab a couple of those. Why not? <laughs> She's implied, though, that she could just make these things, right? Uh, with supplies from here. There's a lot of, like... Rough mm -hmm. kind of like mm. tinkerous supplies across the board. You can also get tinkerous tools, lots of other stuff. If you really want to rob it, you can steal their gold, everything if you really want. But um, uh, it is up to you. Above board, I'm totally down with you guys wanting to rob whatever you want. My character is personally not going to do that, but I'm saying as me that you should <laughs> do that. This, these are good. If it aligns with your character's morals specifically. I just thought these arrows were cool. V would have like the same logic as Desmond. Like, oh, that looks interesting. We're here. Take. Yep. You could also get I'll a couple take, of like, like prestidigitation stones, which can, you can use to crush and like cast it. Um, uh, what else? You'd get uh, uh, probably a little like, there's like little minor illusion stones where you can like input one illusion into it and it will like play it up. Um, little kind of small like cantrip stone based stuff as well. <clears throat> yeah, grab I'll take three of the birds of the feather thing. They've also got a little vault in the corner if you want to break into that, which is probably where they keep most oh of the gold. Oh my god, what's in the fucking vault? Oh, just... <laughs> it's not worth it. That's we have it. one other problem that I don't think anyone's concerned. Oh, yep. what? Joe, what floor are we on in the town? Of the town? Uh, you are currently on floor... A floor, even, sorry. Uh, uh, nine of the 13, so... He has no way floor. to ride the elevator. Well, we just uh, give just give him one of our gloves, and then someone comes up with it again. Or, or how far uh, up are we? How well does dimension? You're right. Lore we could just like do two trips, end? right, and then just bring yeah. the glove up. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Can I just uh, hop, skip down? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I just got these birds of a feather things. We can. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Balloon jetpack off the side of the sea. Yeah, Mom's wise. So we can fly for a minute. We got this. All right, how do you want to go down? Do you slip out of the, the shop? Are you leaving the shop opened? How, how are you leaving it behind? I'm going to close it uh, as best I can. 
to okay. at least look like someone tried to cover so, up their tracks. Yeah, I don't want a guard to walk by and be like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Hang on. <laughs> and then, like, get in there. Yeah. <laughs> that makes you know? sense. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, uh, you would kind of close it off <clears throat> enough that, it, yeah, you've covered your tracks behind you. Uh, and you're out in the streets now with her. Next to you, kind of packing her hand, hood up. Mm-hmm. What's your next destination? To our camp, I guess, to get yeah. her somewhere safe and hidden. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you'd go into the ley line, passing the glove across, um, and uh, ride it down with her. Move out of the town, shift through the crowds of people that are now kind of like stifling away, going to their homes, and getting to your campsite. And when's she going to get you guys? Wow, this is yours? Y'all own this? You got like a little moving campsite? Okay. We've created a sort of community of people that didn't really have anywhere else to go. Well, happy to be here. Happy to have you. Um, should we ask maybe, like, someone to not look after her, so to speak, but make sure, like, if anyone comes looking for her, just to, like, keep her out of, <clears throat> like, Abigail or something? Well, I'm wondering Yeah, I was know. also gonna ask if we could get, like, a, some kind of disguise similar to how Desmond's handled his own stuff. Yeah, so literally what I was gonna say. Not make yeah. it so but obvious. It would be better if she had, like, a much disguise. better disguise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can start working on a little disguise with her. Um, pop room. Who's, whose tent are you going to let her go into? Um, I can let her into mine because I have a bunch of artis- artificer stuff that okay, she might Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, either yours or my workshop, right? Like, either mm-hmm. one of those, she'd probably feel comfy. Like there's just, are, like, there's a million in. half projects that she might just enjoy <laughs> yeah. being around. Uh, Cute. Yeah, she'd go into her tent and she'd look, look around at yeah, this place is nice. I could, I could definitely uh, shut off for the night here. What, what's your name, by the way? It's Desmond. I forgot to get everyone's names. What, what are they all oh, called? I was supposed to have a disguise. I, I'm having a real hard time keeping it up. Why are you in disguise? I'm from here originally. I ran away. You ran away as well? Yeah. It does get much better. Trust me. Oh. She looks like it. You got a soul? I believe I do. Well, Desmond, nice to meet you. I'm Adelaide. And uh, hopefully you'll meet Duke soon. Uh, And then Farman as well. And we can all just go off together. We'll help out around the campus. back soon, yeah. I miss him, you know. He... uh, Kind of like my big brother. I always just look up to Duke. He always knows what's, what, what, how to do everything. I always got a plan. Um. Well, thank you for bringing me here, Desmond. Hmm. You're comfortable to mess with anything you see in here. You can't rest easily. I wouldn't want to mess up all your things, but... I, I can definitely help around. I mean, there's no messing up on any of these. If something breaks, you'll find a new way to fix it. The more things break, the more you figure out how they work, you know? You know, you sound awful look like Duke. Uh, all right. I'll stick around here then. Yeah, we'll see you later. See you later, Desmond. Sam is muted. I'm so glad he and was. I'm talking to chat. I'm talking to chat. I'm talking to chat. That's why I'm muted. Put <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out. Um, a likely story. <laughs> with uh, Adelaide acquired and added to the camp, what is your next destination? What's your next goal? The warehouse. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, I have Honestly, to if I it's still nighttime, chat. could probably do it tonight. Yeah. 
I think it's probably a good idea. I feel like security will be up anywhere if they're like, oh, someone broke in and took a really expensive <laughs> robot from the place yes. that we just bought it. Yeah. Huh. Like, I don't know. We should do it tonight. Were you going to ask Sam? I was, dude, I need to, you to answer this question. <laughs> okay. Okay. If Could I be. am free falling in D and D, in so, in your universe specifically, okay, mm -hmm. and I ready an action to teleport Misty Step or Thunder Step before I hit the ground. Yeah. Does my momentum continue and I just instantly obliterate myself, <laughs> or does it halt my momentum? And I, I hold your momentum. Hold damage. Hold your momentum. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teleport and you're basically just realigning yourself into somewhere else. So you're not really, okay. yeah, you're not building momentum. I guess you're a wow mage guy, so I figured it would go that way, yeah. but I thought I'd ask. <laughs> just play. Yeah, no, it's cooler. It's cooler that way. It is cooler that way. Um, all right, well, before you head out towards the warehouse, we'll take our five minute break <clears> now. Uh, and uh, and I'm going to head up towards the Guild of Drifting Sparks warehouse, see what happened to Duke. Uh, and you can rescue him. What happened? All right. What, what happened? happened? Well, I mean, he's captured. He's captured, right? Yeah, and he's taken. Got, what does that mean? He got. What does that mean? Why are you acting like mean? there's something wrong? I don't know. Do it, guys, I don't he know. slipped up. He slipped up. He no. slipped. He got slipped up. He got, he got he pulled, up. man. No, hold up. Why did you let the DM just say we're going to be picking up Duke in a bag, guys? What's up with that? Hold up. Uh, but, guys, I think we should long rest now. I think we might as well. I think he's. <laughs> you don't have your cherry stone, uh, so who knows what's gonna happen? Uh... Oh, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, uh, we'll be back in five. Uh, so go and get yourselves refill your drinks, etc. And we'll see you soon for the next half.
All right, we'll get started again. So I was washing some of the makeup of my face, chat. All right. <clears throat> All right. Hello, hello. Let me bring it back in. Hey. Howdy. Hello. So I was trying to wash some of that stupid makeup off my lips. Let's go um, get Duke, who's definitely alive. Dude, he ain't going to be a big old cube <laughs> or anything. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you can head up into the into the town uh, and, uh, and go looking for the drifting sparks. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah. do it. What time of day is it now? Like early evening. Yeah. Oh. By the time you kind of come down into your into your into your tents and you've you've kind of settled them, I'd say probably eight o'clock actually. Okay. So definitely beyond sunset. All right, you're heading up towards um, the industrial district, which is in uh, <clears throat> layer eleven. So two up. Let's do it. All right. Um, you head into layer 11, Paxel, going up through the ley line, you hear it, layer 11, Paxel, was going to pass through into the warehouse district. The Guild of Drifting Sparks is found over to the eastern side, built on the edge of the disc itself, kind of on the rocky terrain of the disc. Um, it's built out of the way of, uh, of the other structures, and it seems to be some sort of, like, processing plant. You can hear in, actually... Kind of closed in on it, you'd see they've kind of got a couple of housing stations outside and they fence off the area. But it's quiet out in this portion of the town right now. Um, you, you'd be coming up on uh, essentially one of the kind of way stations that they have where people kind of like sit inside... Almost like where they allow carriages to come on through and wagons to come on through delivering supplies um, before the fence. They've kind of built a wall around their warehouse section. There's a guard at the front there who's kind of uh, sat underneath a little kind of uh, canopy that's allowed to, to, if it starts raining, um, keeps him keeps him dry. Um, and he sits under this kind of little canopy. He's just sat there, uh, a gate, metal gate to the side of him, uh, blocking off the way into the warehouses. Uh, and he looks up as you're kind of coming along, um, sword on his belt, leaning back in a chair. Human mercenary garb on, but organized, kind of scale mail. Looks up and goes, Hello, Kel, can I help you? Would we have approached intending to interact okay. with anyone? That's fair. No. Yeah, if you're going to be sneaky about it, I don't think so. I don't think we would have. <laughs> okay. I, I think this is like a very much possible. so. Okay. Yeah. How would you approach it then? There's a there's a, a wall about I'd say about twelve foot wall around. You can see the warehouse building in the background. And it wraps around. It's like a, a semicircle because it wraps around the warehouses, and this is built over the edge of the disc. Does more gain see any sort of magical Magic? thing? That would um, keep us out if we like scaled it or something. Doesn't seem to be. That doesn't seem to be. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, if one of us gets to the top of that wall, uh, well, I do at least. I can get something to. Everyone Say less, I got those birds of a feather thing. Let's fucking go. Right now. <laughs> if only we oh, had God some way Lord. to get over this thing with <laughs> some newfangled doodad or gadget of some kind. Mm. You have to concentrate to use them, right? Or like, how's it work? Uh, yeah, you will con consider concentrating. I'll, I'll link them to you. Hold on. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's a bird. I did grab these. I'll hold one out. What are those? Oh, they're cute. Yeah, you have the I... common version, so it's not the uncommon rarity. What I have known, like, was there a display that explained what it was in the shop? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, <laughs> yeah. it kind of told you, you know, fly, you can fly on these Hold things. Mm -hmm. It makes you fly. Did you get... Oh, oh from the shop from before. Mm. Okay. 
Oh. Uh, well, that was. Should I have not taken? No, no, no. That guy was probably a jerk. Okay. Uh, well, um, how many of those do we have? I took three, so three. feel free to use one. If you use one, then I can go up there with like a, some kind of way to fasten a rope on the top for yeah. people to climb up and then otherwise get down on the other side nice and easy. Can I mm -hmm. pick a spot that's like, there's, is there like, this isn't like a fucking place with like searchlights and shit, right? This no, isn't, no. There's not going to be, it's like the so I can pick a place like that's fortress. dim and that someone's not going to see. <laughs> fucking Malga solid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could, you could, dun, dun, suburb dun, the wall. Dun, dun, dun. There's an element that the industrial zone is not really the place where people would rob, so there's less of a guard to it. There's more of a, um, General, just a couple of patrolling guards that you'd probably see that are there to prevent anyone from sabotaging. Okay, yeah, Carlisle will use, the, use that item to mm -hmm. get on up there and then mm -hmm. set up a rope for everyone to climb up and then climb down the other side check. nice and easy. I will do that. Thank you for asking me. To. <laughs> uh, that's a 22. Ooh. Sorry for the guidance, just 22. Uh, you'd see kind of to the closest to where the first guy was at the entrance. There's about three or four people talking. There's a couple of guards patrolling down that way and going around the side of the warehouse but uh you would see there's a there's a uh, a dwarf and um an elven man both both kind of talking over to one side um pointing up at the building and you can see the dwarf just kind of grabs him pulls the elf down into his face and it's like you can't hear what they're saying he's like shouting at him the guards ignore it as they walk past and he kind of pushes the elf back who puts his hands up and then rushes off the dwarf just like stomps his feet, punches the wall behind him, and like marches southward towards the, the gateway area. But oh. they don't look up there by where you guys are. And the rope goes down. Okay. Sick. <clears throat> so our options are either fly up or use the rope. Oh, I think we should probably just save the flying. <laughs> yeah, that we have two more. We uses. already have a rope. Yeah. Rope will be noisier, for sure. Rope um, gets you around doing the athletics check. Um, mm -hmm. You can just okay. climb up it. I'm going to do another pass without trace because it's probably been an hour since we've gone back mm. and forth. Smart thinking. Bless you. Thank you. Okay. Everyone roll a stealth check if you climb onto the wall and down off the other side. I I'm not wearing my armor down, right So now. do I have to stealth if I like was never technically climbing and I was silently? Oh, this is to go into the compound, flying. the ba base of the compound. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will enter rage so that I can use strength as a, okay. as a stealth roll. You're so angry. <laughs> go fifteen. I'm gonna make it a twenty Oof. with my flash of genius. Forty, just okay. in case. Forty. Sorry. Forty. Yeah, you disappear again. Uh. You get how much you get in Desmond? You got 15 and then goes up to what? Mine's going to be 20 because okay, I'm going to flash a genius. And then yours is 22, V. I'm, I'm going to... 20... Uh, 23 for Morgane. Uh, 26. 26. And then I'll give you... Uh, Indrasa. Um... Let me see. Do, do, do. So I have to keep opening and closing it. <clears throat> Hello? 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 Can tomorrow not hear us? Is he, is, is oh, there he breaking. goes. Uh oh. Okay. Hello? That's Hello? Hello? Hey, right. dude. Hello? Alright. Yeah. She gets a 25 as well. New Zealando moment. No, that's okay. <laughs> Dude, the fucking Wi Fi in the Shire could never have been that great. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You would all climb down in, uh, and if you give me a second, I'll actually show you where you are. Uh, Wait, do you have a map? I have a map for this place. That's a map, huh? Well, yeah. so, oh, we're God. so we're finding out what happened to Duke, and you have a map. <laughs> you guys are, uh, you guys are sneaking into a place that's guarded, and you're probably going to get into fights. I'm trying to think this uh, motherfucker planned an encounter around this, and we weren't actually hold to speak to Duke. I do hope you guys remember, I took off my armor to go in this town, so I'm not... Oh, fuck. Very tanky. Man. Also, I'm down a spell slot, and I think tax down too. Well, technically, we... we should avoid combat. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to... 17 AC, If we but... get into a big fight, 
in a city with like guards uh, that work for the city in any capacity. Anyways. We're kind of cooked anyways right now, so we're gonna Wait, try I'm not to down a spell you. slot because I'm a warlock. <laughs> My spell slots are all right. We're back. Not in combat things, so we're so fucking back. Magical we're cunning. Everything we just said. <laughs> I'm back. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Come with. Just pretend like Desmond is our <laughs> Desmond, pretend you're back. Like, and they might just I'm not so come back, after you. Man. Morale, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm so freaking back, bro. Do you all believe me? I believe you. Roll performance okay. check. I believe you. Roll performance. Four deception. <laughs> performance. Uh -huh. That's going to be a disadvantage. Uh, oh, I'm just going to get the map prepared. But you're climbing over this wall. You can see that the whole kind of structure is built metallic. <laughs> Uh, it seems to be some sort of like um, uh, a warehouse with conveyor belts where they've kind of steam powered conveyor belts and, and arcane powered in, uh, conveyor belts. Um, uh, you can hear it's all kind of shut off right now. It's all closed down. Uh, there's almost like a, an eerie, quiet feeling that you don't hear from the rest of the warehouses around the area. Um, where you'd, you'd be used to the sounds of like the chugging of, of forge work and arcane uh, magic buzzing, but it's actually quieter around here right now. Um, just trying to get a couple of tokens for something. Uh, okay. Grab this one. Um. And you would uh, you'd be climbing around the back here. So I'm going to show you where you are. Just because it's nighttime, I just changed up a couple of things. All right, nighttime map is down. All right, uh, I'm going to bring you guys over to this page. Uh, I believe it should be black for you. Dynamic lighting is on. Mm -hmm. Black, black. <clears throat> I'm going to try and... You're going to be at the bottom left of the map. Um, if you want to drag your dudes on there, I will drag you across. Chat, you'll be seeing it in a second once I get everyone on there, just so we don't have any spoilers. Hey, what's this pile of... Uh, body part, automaton parts. What the hell? Why is there a... Shut the fuck up, guy. Is that a, is that a cube with a name tag that says Duke? <laughs> I don't see anything. Is this supposed to be black for yes. us? Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm dragging myself around. Right bottom left, left, right? Yep, okay. bottom left. Yeah. Bottom right. Bottom left. Uh, and you're going to see it's pretty pitch black out here right now. So, Desmond... I don't even know if I'm down. Uh, Same. Did I not go down? Me. I think I might just make two of me. Just trying to find where you put yourself. Uh, where did you put yourself? If I put myself anywhere, is that the most... No, I accidentally put down four tokens. Left. If you could just help me reveal the map, dude, that would be great. And I just cleaned them up for you. No, I can't show you <laughs> okay, any, shit. any right, tokens. Uh, there's big spoilers in this map, so I want to make sure that we get it right. All right, yeah. let me do this. Yeah. It's Duke's body. <laughs> it's just crazy no, how many different new. places Duke's body got scattered to in this fucking place. Here lies his head. Here lies his hand. <laughs> his torso over there. <gasps> Poor guy. Yeah. Rough, rough what happened to him. <laughs> I have no like way to <laughs> I I swear to God, I keep on like dragging <laughs> myself down, but I don't want to like grief by placing 50,000 tokens. I'm going to do it I'll again. Try I'll try put myself you beneath want. Desmond. Yeah, maybe you place me. Put yourself right here, Tamar. I'm not sure whether I'd be any different from when I placed myself right next to there, but I'll try that Trust too. Trust him. Didn't happen. Well, we don't know where you are, dude. You're not on. You Wherever you are, you ain't meant to be. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> Look, oh, uh, Joe, I think you need to get me out of this one. Yeah, that's fine. Go here or go very bottom left corner. The only person I see is Desmond. I don't even see you guys. But I see Desmond clear yeah. as day. For some reason, Desmond's Whoa. character was over the shadows when he put it down. I don't know why. Okay, thank you. Now I can see. But You got vision? Yeah. The yeah. dimmest of vision I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I put your your vision down to like black because it's when it's when there's no lighting, it should be really, really dark. Um, it seems like this whole warehouse is... Uh, I, I can make it a little bit lighter for you guys. Hold on. <clears throat> Lots of light. Do we even want to risk casting light? Oh, thank God. Light? Thank no. you. <laughs> no light. It was going to be that or I was going to have to cut all the lights light. in my room so I could, like, see the darkness on my <laughs> yeah. monitor. All right. Uh, so, uh, I'll put Andrasa down as well. 
Um, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to reveal the map for chat, and we'll look through V's vision here. Uh, you are uh, considered on the bottom left of the area. Um, you can see there's like a... there's. You can see it's pretty pitch black around here. They don't have any lights on the actual area. Um, uh, the guards are walking. I don't want to make sure the guards emit some sort of light, because they're the only ones that would. With torches. <coughs> Uh, the guards are walking along with torches, so you might be able to see some of the emitting light from them. But uh, at the moment, you can see kind of glimmers of light around the corner, but that's them walking around with torches. Uh, you guys are all pitch dark in the corner around the side of this kind of metallic warehouse structure. Uh, metal and wood and stone kind of built together. You can see a kind of a conveyor belt be built of kind of steampunky material uh, with lots of plating and metallic uh, substances coming off of the, uh, the the wagon just in front of you. But everything is stationary. All of the all of the stuff here is turned off. Can all of us see in the dark now? No. Desmond, Ooh, I think we can. Oh, fuck. Desmond, just very funny, upgrade very your funny, eyeballs. Very funny, dude. very funny, very funny. So Dude, which way Duke's were the eyeballs? You're about to get a new set. <laughs> yeah. Joe, which way were the guards when we saw them last? Uh, the over to the the side, over to the east. Okay. okay. You can see we, some. If we're gonna on. be moving, do we have to redo stealth checks now? No, no. This is your stealth check. Slay. Okay. So I'm at a cool forty. Yeah. The lowest stealth in your team right now is twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think, I mean, Carlisle would signal that we go the way that doesn't have guards walking towards it. Mm -hmm. so you'd start going. Uh, I will say, lead. if you go that way, you're going to see there's a big harsh wall here. This is like up against it. Two foot. Oh, of so we have oh. to go this oh, way. Oh, I see. We have oh. to go yeah, this look, way. They sent, okay. me, they sent me this chat. Yeah. Dude, that's actually base. Yeah, Sam, that's crazy. Cool, man. <laughs> Shit, I was a <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have changed the, the fact that you just I was telling them, like, a big old they, box. <laughs> no, they sent me, like, an arcane Red Bull. It's just, like, one Red Bull in a box. Wait, what? <laughs> and it's iced vanilla berry, and it is ass, bro. It is bad. <laughs> oh. That's so funny. I do not like. All right, I'm following uh, Carlisle. But the box is very cool. You can now see there's a guard over towards the right who's kind of just wandering uh, eastward, okay. staring out towards the east. I've got this feeling that as long as we kind of stick to the darkness, things will be okay-ish. Yeah. But, um, there's not a lot of space. <clears throat> mm -mm. This guy looks like a fucking idiot, uh, though. I think we could take him any day of the week if it came down to it. He looks like a clown. There's also, I would relay that I can see another guard all the way down here as well. Mm -hmm. hey, there's darkness. light on the other side. Can I, can, is that like in my head or am I actually seeing light projecting underneath you the doorway? You can see light projecting under the door. Okay, because I'm not super keen on opening any doors that, like, that's like a conveyor belt light. door, by the way. It's like a shutter. You know, so I'm a thick. Oh, it's shutter. like so we could like, mm. we could ride the conveyor belt. Well, it's off right now. <laughs> That'd be fun. But you can. So yeah. One guard here. One guard here. Are these guards like? If we leave them to it, will they like walk in the direction that I'm pinging like that way? Kind of. Uh, hard to say. Then you don't really know the patrol path. You can do an insight check. I'd like to do an inside check on that. Yeah. Uh, 22. Uh, yeah, it looks like this guy is about to turn around and come back towards your way. No one closest to you. <laughs> about to. I was also going to yeah, try to hear an around, perception check. And you can see he's like, it's like he's hit the end of his patrol path and he's going to turn fuck, around again. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> okay, then if he's facing away from us, Carlisle's going to like gently try to open this and i think we either move everyone up to the next room or we get this guy and knock him out because he, he yeah. one or the other mm -hmm. uh what's everyone thinking um we I could, could i could also make myself look like a guard and use suggestion on him Ooh. i don't know that's a gamble though yeah it's a gamble, and also I'm I'm anxious about burning too many spell slots when I know you're already down some from the sending. Sure. I think we I think we open this. 
I'm just trying to shuffle along. Yeah. I think I'm going <laughs> to try to like crack it open a little bit so I can see what's yeah. in there without fully going in, just in case there's a guard on the other side or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh. Looks like a little like cubby, like a little like people can stand uh, in here. Just, we can just in case you just before you ask, I can do it, oh. do a thieves tool check, because it would technically be locked. 30. Yeah, you oh. easily open it. Okay. That looks uh, like a one of those conveyor belt like trap door things that would drop rocks from this conveyor belt onto a lower floor. It, it's the, you'll, you'll be going underneath this. This is a kind of a pressured area where it's basically collecting any of the metal and crushing it down um, and kind of shaping oh. it. But right now it, it is off. Okay. Is okay. Duke in there? Ooh. I, I Ooh. don't see no Duke. They put Duke in the crusher. Oh my no. God. He's a cube, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carlisle's going to kind of like <laughs> gesture everyone to go into that room. Okay. Um, and start unlocking the next door because this is technically okay. dead end. I don't think we can all fit in here. Uh, yeah, I don't think the there's enough space. God, I'm gonna start turning around. Net, net twenty on the next one. Okay. Yep. Uh, go ahead and open it. You can oh, see now a light in place. It's kind of it's almost like heated gray ore below uh where the metal usually gets kind of changed. Everything's turned off right now. You can see where that's still on, and it's kind of like. Warping and turning, keeping light bursting out of there, but uh, uh, you'd give me a perception check up front just to see 22. You see, this would usually kind of rise up and kind of go over them and like melt them there and then kind of rise back down, but it's uh, it currently just dormant and it's just lighting stage at the bottom. So it's creating quite a bit of heat coming out of there, but it's uh, it's it's not currently moving up, mm. okay. Yeah, Carlisle's going to gesture everyone to get in there and he's going to try to close this once everyone's through. Now that I can see, yeah. I, I'm i trying to stand on the platform. <laughs> it looks like I'm I'll grab and draw and move her in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's and then he's going to close the conveyor. The guards will come and close it very quietly. <clears throat> You're inside the facility. Can we have... Because um, this is probably going to end up being our exit route. Can we have Sestina... Mm -hmm. post up by this conveyor door. Ooh. I want someone yeah. to watch our exit so in case Sorry. we're leaving, yep. we don't get caught by guards. Okay. Next door. Next, Next door. door. Is this also locked? Mm. Uh, yeah, it would be. Yeah. It seems like the facility's been shut down. 25. You open it. hallway gonna move in and check the corners Oops. on either side to make sure there's not guards patrolling it seems quiet that one seems to lead outside onto a ridge the bottom one seems to lead into more kind of like a interior just walk past me oh there's a door right there oh there's so many doors okay well, game's just following Tack closely. Mm. I think I'd want to open the next like immediate door I see because I want to mm. find a room that we can put like have to hide out in if shit is like there's mm. a lot of movement and this is not yeah. a good one with how bright it is. Uh, so I'm going to check this door next. Right in front of me. OK. Uh, that uh, one's open. As in it's there's oh. no lock. On OK. It. Then I'm going to very carefully open it. I want to look and see Give me and also check. try to hear if there's anyone in there. Give me a stealth okay. and perception check then. Uh, 30 for stealth. Perception is a 30 Ooh, as well. What the fuck? God God damn. damn. You open it. This man a ghost. Silently. Uh, inside. Yeah. You can see down the way uh, there is pause there for a sec. An automaton. <gasps> up ahead. Smaller, about uh, closer to four and a half feet. Uh, but you'd see this automaton just ahead of you. It stood there in the darkness, but it's on. Does it look like it's doing a patrol? Does it look like... It looks it's like it's stationary like... right now. Okay, Carlisle's going to... 
try to get Desmond's attention to come up. I don't think he'd be able to see this too clearly, but he'd want to describe what he's seeing because Desmond would know it the best. Head of you is a glass door between you and him, by the way. Mm -hmm. You're seeing through the glass. Okay. There's some kind of like four foot something or other automaton up there. Would I know what model this is or what they normally are for? Um, Go ahead and give me... Yeah, give me a a Tinker's Tool check with the intelligence. Uh, Tinker's Tools. 27. Uh, this is an autonome. Uh, you would know that... Uh, a lot of a lot of automatons that are like built entirely out of machinery um are used for for kind of servant servant work and also can be used for fighting um this one up ahead does seem to have augmentations on its arm to show like a blade kind of spinning in its arm um it looks like this is manifested for war for sure or at mm. least fighting <clears throat> yeah. and do i know if they use them for <clears throat> patrolling or watching places or is this just here because it was uh i would here. say that your memories of the drifting sparks are limited okay we should do our best to avoid it if we can okay i'm thinking might as well check the hallway to the south then first carlisle's gonna gently close this door again Okay. <clears throat> Do think that might end up being the path we need to take, though. I'm wondering if there's a disc with my memories on it somewhere. Mm -hmm. This is also open. Also open. Okay, mm -hmm. same thing as last time. Slowly gonna creep it open. Also looking for anyone that could be on the other side as I do so and hearing for it. Perception and stealth, just because it's an individual... Can I assist with hearing perception as well? Because of yeah. my... Mm -hmm. Cool. Stealth is a 32. Actually, I guess a 42 because we're all in paths without Trace still. <laughs> it's silent. Um, perception is a 25. Okay. Open. Uh, and this one uh, seems to be empty inside. It seems to have a lot of notes around. Uh, it seems to be a workshop of sorts. Uh I would say because you've got the 25, give me an advantage uh, perception check, Brie. Oh, did we lose? Okay. 19. Who did we lose? Oh, Dodger. Uh, Dodger. All right. Camera's going to be a little bit messed Dodger. up until Dodger gets back. Chat. Sorry about that. Uh... uh 20, what did you say your role was? 20, 19? 19 for perception um, with hearing. You can hear <clears throat> funk, funk coming from the eastern door as well. Like something is okay. behind there walking. Uh, but otherwise, mm, something behind. Seemed... Okay. Shoot relay to Carlo. Okay, does it sound like oh, it's coming towards ahead. us? Uh, does oh, it? Or does it sound like it's patrolling? More patrolling. Hmm. This this okay. room in here seems to be like weapons and kind of uh, 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 different devices to attach them, notes around, sprawled, all that sort of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Carlisle's going to gesture to everyone else to come into this room. This room's probably mm -hmm. going to be our best bet for like having some space. Yeah. Also to look around in general. Uh, is Dodger... How's Dodger doing, Sam? He just messaged me and said, did you lose internet? And I didn't, so I, I'm oh, trying no. to figure out what happened to her. Oh. Uh, we'll keep pressing ahead, just theater to the mind chat. Sorry, it's just, I, can't, I actually genuinely can't fi uh, fix the cams unless someone else is here. Uh, especially whilst we've got one missing <clears> today. Um, so just theater to the mind it. Um, you would step into here and what you're looking for, sorry? Just looking around. Uh, looking around right now, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just at any of these notes. Okay. Um, yeah, you can skim over the notes. Uh, do you read Dwarvish? Not I. Tis not I. Ooh, none of us do, I think. 
But we have a comprehend languages we wizard do though, comprehend so we read everything wizard. technically. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let me just double check something though. Uh, yeah, she'd probably have to drop a. Let me see if she talks. Yeah, she'd have to drop a, a spell slot for it though. Uh, so uh, if you want to mark the off Sam, oh, whoever's using her spe uh, uh, character sheet at the moment. Uh, attack. I'll mark it. No, no, it's uh, uh I, I got oh, it. I, got I it. Mar marked it off. Oh, you did oh, too. You did? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> um you would uh look through the notes. Sorry, no, you uh, comprehend languages to, to learn dwarvish. The words kind of just suddenly make sense. Uh can I get off of Andrasa an investigation check? As you're skim reading a bunch of notes. 22 whoa uh looking through quickly the first thing you uh that she would take in is the idea that a lot of the designs here in this warehouse are specifically about building androids about building essentially half automaton half people people that have been injured um or moving extracting their brains extracting their body parts mm. anything they can to, to save people essentially this is almost mm. like necromantic energy put in with automatons at the same time um Ooh. and all studies and groupings of that. The other thing you'd also gleam of the 22 is talk of trying to find um, there's almost like little discussion around uh, finding ways to remake the originals. And you can see they're kind of, they always refer to them as the original. Um, mm. and it's a lot of kind of design uh, ideas uh, but this place seems to be mostly a manufacturing place so it's a lot of manufacturing notes of like how many shipments of metal coming in how much money they need to bring in uh, what kind of shipments they're sending out uh, and they seem to send them by airship as well mm. what are the originals Desmond have you heard of this anything spark my brain <laughs> Give me, I'm just going to say a wisdom check, just as like a general, like, <laughs> two, <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't know anything about this. The fuck? I ain't wise, you guys. <laughs> Original what? And then Andrasa would say, it just says remake the originals, do you? <laughs> Whatever that means. It's not super clear, dear. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can do... Uh, let's take another two-minute break whilst we just wait for Dodger. If Dodger can't return, mm -hmm. by the way, we're going to have to call it there for the night because otherwise yeah. the cameras are just going to be messed up. Um, whilst we've got one... I've only got a system up set up for one person missing, so I can't really do two. Um, I was so going to say, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, well, she could, come, she could come down here and play with me, but that doesn't... No, it doesn't. Yeah, the cams will stay cooked. <clears throat> um, all right, let's just give it another, like, few minutes, and then we'll see if we have to take a, a week break. All right. Yeah. yeah, everybody get sick, guys. Sounds good. All right, sorry about that chat. I don't want to continue on. You guys miss all reactions of different stuff in case any cool information comes out. All that good stuff, you know, they are looking through a guild very much associated with one particular player. So uh, I'd rather we save it if we have to.
Someone join temp camera off and mute death. No, it doesn't work like that. Should have a mod join the call. It's uh, it's a little bit more difficult than that. You have to set up your name has to be correct. It's it's all through Discord. A lot of people don't understand the setup I've got, but it's essentially capturing a bunch of different cameras, individual and window captures across Discord. It's set up in a very particular way. Yeah, yeah. It's why I'm, I'm built for one extra person off because I can open up a different uh, Discord tab with everything set up on that one particular tab. But I can't do it for two. It's also the reason we can't start until everyone arrives here on time, usually. It's camera setups for you, man. But we'll give it another few minutes. And if it doesn't show up, then we'll just kind of call this like part one. Well, we'll still call this episode 48 because we practically did three hours, but uh, it's almost like a part one of two. All right, it's looking like we're going to have to call it. But what we'll do is we'll just do a no, I'll, I'll unmute. And uh, we'll remain on this screen. And we'll just, because otherwise it's going to be look, look awful. Go to the other screen. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Um, one sec. Oh, one sec, actually. One sec, just learning if we're gonna continue or not. I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to, but we might be able to. We might be able to do our bingo though in outro regardless. Okay. We've got all cams back technically. Let's see here. That's VHS. Right, let is. me see. Yay! Is that back? Is it all good? I guess. Nice. Uh, would you prefer we just do an outro and finish up there for the night, or would you want to? Uh, you it says my connection is very bad, so we might Ooh. still want to. Let's, let's 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 do a finish up there, and that way we can just see everything next week and can kind of continue where we left off here. Um, Let's, Hopefully, uh, you could be heard for this too. Yeah, exactly right. There's, there's some interesting stuff to happen in this place, and it's uh, you kind of only just entered it, so there's more uh, more guards and people to sneak past. So me um, tweaking the router to give Dodger one percent of my internet. Yeah, <laughs> instead of zero. Let's go, uh, <laughs> let's let's do uh, the bingo then, and do kind of an outro that way, and then just do shouts, and we'll finish up. We'll play on next week. So uh, if you want to load up the stream, we've got the bingo up, ready to go. 
Uh, Ritual cast a spell from LG. Uh, I mean, she wasn't here, but we technically didn't Ritual cast a spell because you wouldn't have originally cast Comprehend Languages just now because that would have been Quick Cast. Uh, so I don't think that yeah. counts. Uh, Joe regrets his caution before the break. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I put weird stuff on my face. D100 mm -hmm. success. Uh, no, you technically didn't roll a D100 yet because you haven't entered into combat. Uh, nat 1, there was. Nat 20, there was. Beer for breakfast. Yes. Uh, Technically, I think. It was yeah. first oh, middle of the day, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, first true. middle of the day. A player asks yep. for the time of day. Yes. Succeed the wisdom saving throw. No. No. Roll initiative. No. Failed deception check. No. Buys a reverse bean. No. Closet cosplay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Free. Uh, every level of warm steps visited. You technically did last time. So that was already, okay. that's already, you've technically done that. Accept or deny check? No. Spell license update? No. Something like the proverbial uh, powder keg? Not yet. Um, party enters a business that is clearly a front? No. Charms or frightens NPC? Not yet. 30 plus ability check? Yes. Spooks NPC with telepathy? No. Intelligence monster NPC? No. Yes. Who? Yes. The oh, Etten. the Etten, you're absolutely right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Pi attempts bribery. Uh, yeah, I mean, you gave the sword. Well, that wasn't really bribing. You weren't giving him the sword. It wasn't to bribery, you. though. No. Non-lethal takedown? No. Mischief. Play a Eureka moment? No. Uh, no. I knew the discs went to automatons. That's true. You did have it. Yeah, actually, you did call cool out. That's quite clever. All right. Well, no Thank bingo you. because it's, it's it's you know, I'm the one doing it. So uh, I never land on a bingo <laughs> for you guys. Uh, but, uh, you could have, uh, all right, let's finish up there though. And we'll, we'll pick up in the, uh, the Guild of Drifting Sparks warehouse next week. Uh, let's go ahead and do some shout outs. We'll start with OG. I'll just shout her out. She couldn't make it this week, but she will be back next week, hopefully. So, uh, we'll see her then. Um, uh, go and check her out on her channel, follow her Twitter, keep updated that way. Uh, she might stream in the next few weeks. We'll see if, 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 if her work calms down a little bit and gives her a chance to do so. Uh, but otherwise check out OG on her socials. Uh, Shane. Hi, I'm Shane. I was just coughing. Sorry. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming Return to Moria after this with my oh, cool. mom and my sister and my girlfriend. What? Oh, cute. Aww. That's so cute. A little dwarven That's family crazy. going back. That's really cute. Yeah. That's what I'll be doing after this. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're right in. Uh, uh, Bree. Hello, I'll be streaming more Veilguard tomorrow. I've already filled out like 50 pages of theories <laughs> and notes so in my <laughs> notebook. I'm having so much fun existing in the codex of the Dragon Age world. So <laughs> come hang out if you want to watch me Pepe Sylvia yeah, a you're fucking a... corkboard trying to figure out every little secret. You're a law fiend, dude. You're a law junkie. I am. I'm addicted. Soak it in. Um, tomato. I don't have anything to say today, which is rare, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like something okay, man. You all right? Good morning, okay? sleepyhead. Yeah, that's true. It is the morning. Good morning could be your your, uh, your checkout. Uh, Sam. Uh, I'm going to be playing Minds of Mario with Shane's mum and his sister <laughs> and his Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm stuck on a subathon. I'm a prisoner of my own creation. How long have you Very got on it now? 56 hours. Jesus. No, but that's good because it's that's down from like a long time. Like you, you were up at like nine hours. Last week it was at last like, hour. Last week it was at eighty hours. Holy it's not, moly! Was it going down in real time? I thought like last that. week you were um, at like like eight it days. It might be one hundred eighty. It might have been one hundred eighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, 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 I mean, it, you've still got a while on it for sure, but it's getting there. Um, uh, check out Sandra in a subathon. Dodger. Hi, everybody. I'm the I'm the session killer. No, 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 <laughs> um, no. We hit the three hour mark anyway. It's a good time. Uh, you can find me at Dex Bonus on pretty much everything. Uh, should be a normal week for me. I might check out Trash Goblin or some of these other um, little indie games that have come that out. That game recently. is great. It's so mm. comfy. Played the demo and it was it was like pretty cute. Um, it's like so, it's one of those OCD like satisfying games and I love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. Um, but yeah, yeah, come hang out. It's a chill time. Cool. 
Uh, there's also a Patreon behind the scenes if you want to see like uh, GM notes and whatnot and kind of how everything's put together along with homebrew and whatnot. But uh, other than that, uh, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing this week. I haven't really got any plans ahead, so we'll see. We'll just see what comes out. Uh, isn't Stalker coming out? Is that in two weeks? Yes. No, it's it next 20th. week. 20th. Okay. Ten, 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 ten days. Ten days. Okay, yeah, yeah, midway. All right. Uh, yeah, so I'll uh, shout that next week. Uh, other than that, no idea what I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be back next week for 49. We're closing on episode 50, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so uh, we'll see you guys then. We'll go and explore the rest of this warehouse and the secrets that lie within uh, that you might be able to discover whilst you're here. Uh, sneaking around or you get caught and we'll see what happens then all right well we'll see you guys over on shane's take care i'm gonna raid straight into you shane so you can uh go and uh, uh dig into the minds of moria with your fam thanks everyone <laughs> for watching see you next time bye 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 gang bye bye and raided